Hiya darlings, this is Hello Live English Advanced Devilish Diva, the one and only Narissa Ravencroft. Today, I just downed a whole bagged salad. <laughs> I, quick update on my life that no one asked for, let's go. Um, you guys are probably aware I was doing the like meal order things. Uh, after doing them for like quite a few weeks now, it feels like I'm just tired out of them. I think I'm going to- I, I canceled my subscription. I'm not going to be renewing. Next week will be my last week. But I've really been craving vegetables. <laughs> I need more vegetables. I need more actual beef that, like, it doesn't taste bad. So, um, yeah, I ate a salad kit just now. And as you guys know, um... It's Valentine's season. So while I bought those, I looked over and saw that they had my favorite cookies. <laughs> which are, um, red velvet cookies at the local Target. So I hopped on over. <laughs> I picked those up for myself too. Alright. So, our goal... It's not going to happen. But our goal is to finish the community center today. Oh. Good morning. Good morning, Emily. You seem to be doing well. The farm looks great. Thanks. You've been here a while and I'm sure you've acquired some cloth by now, right? No. Well, did you know that you can use cloth to tailor all kinds of clothes? All you need is access to a sewing machine. I happen to have one at home. Feel free to swing by and use it anytime. Thanks! What a nice lady. We need a piece of cloth and a secondary item. Okay. Thanks. So nice of you. So. I have my list open of stuff we need to get in the winter. We only have forageables. No fish. Kiara says- wait, wh what are you guys talking about? Kiara says I love Shiori more than her. What? <laughs> Why is she saying stuff like that? Did you know neither of them asked me to be their valentine? When did she say that and why? If she misses you. She's on vacation. <laughs> Um, she didn't get enough I Miss Wawa tweets. Oh my goodness. She's so cute. She's so cute. I love her. <laughs> like 20 minutes ago. Kiara! I literally, every time she messaged me while she was gone, because I was like, oh, you know, Kiara, she just spent like over a week with me. She probably wants me to go the fuck away. <laughs> <laughs> she probably needs some, like, a space away from me because she just spent so much time away from me. So, I, I, you know, I should give her some space. And I'm still nervous about messaging Kiara because, you know, she's like my Oshi. Um. So, <laughs> I'm going to surprise. <laughs> That's what she wants you to think? Why? Kiara, my love, just tell me how you feel. I'll do anything for you. You just have to tell me how you feel. <laughs> she loves you, you know it. <laughs> She's parasocial to me. Wait one sec. Is she still alive? I've been like really busy all morning. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. I love you. I missed you. I'm streaming too, but I love you and I'm so happy you're back. Moi. She's not going to re respond because she's live, but <laughs> there. There. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, I miss you. 
we're, we're, we're creeping in to say hello. <laughs> Is that so? Guys, she knows. <laughs> She's so funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Scatter, guys. Scatter jailbirds. <laughs> <laughs> Never change, Wawa. I love her. <laughs> Sorry, distraction. Her bestie. Mm. Okay, if he wanted me in the usual room, send me. Send me to the usual room. My wife. <laughs> you can hear the stream on my stream. Oh no! Oops. I'm muting it. It's okay. <laughs> I didn't I didn't turn it off from my karaoke stream. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Let's close Kiara's stream. I have to stream. I'm streaming. I can't just make this a Kiara stream watch along. As much as I'm sure we would all love that. Um, back to Stardew. <laughs> so. Let's see. Goat cheese. Orange. We need one of these. If we can get lucky enough to get any single one of these, we're winning. But that's the problem. <laughs> All of these are really difficult to get. A bulletin board, maple syrup, truffle, a fried egg, aquamarine. I think I had one, but I think I sold it. Red cabbage. We need an, a Nautilus shell. And I need you guys to tell me where exactly I can get a Nautilus shell. Um. <laughs> and then uh, we are going to go and just look around for these. We need a snow yam and a crocus. These should be the easiest to find. Suddenly missing Kiara. I, I missed Kiara the whole time. Guys, you seriously don't understand. Kiara knows? Of course she knows. You guys don't understand. How would you guys feel if you were me? You make it into Hollow Life. Suddenly you can talk to your Oshi and she likes you. It's still crazy. For, uh, hanging out with Kiara and being on a vacation with her is still crazy. Honestly, I still can't even believe that happened. I'm not sure it did. <laughs> yeah, Kiara lives rent free in my head she just she's she's great and i definitely 100 percent missed her <laughs> but yeah i figured i figured um with shiori i i wanted to make sure she knew that she was missed by me in general i wanted to make sure shiori knew that she was missed because i knew uh you know when you take a break, it's kind of nerve-wracking. But, uh, also, Shiori, I was, uh, not talking to her very much while she was gone. Because she's busy. You know, she's, like, with family and stuff. So she doesn't really have time to talk. 
versus me and Kiara. We didn't talk a lot because, again, I still was like, she just saw me. She's probably so ready to be done with me. <laughs> Oh, but wow, that wasn't the case. Now she's now she's upset because I didn't give her enough attention. That's my senpai. I love her. <laughs> How cute. How cute is my wife? Kiara is different. She really is built different. <laughs> I know she's just being silly. I am too. I love her. We're being silly together. You're nice and people like you. Uh, <laughs> who said that? I'm just kidding. Ooh, starfish. <sighs> yeah, I'm obsessed with Kiara. So I, it's, you know, it's just, I need to protect her. But from me, I am the danger. Uh, I didn't find the flower while foraging. Is the, the flower that I need to look for only in specific areas? Or am I crazy? Thank you for the pinky, Dewey. Yeah, I can't let her see the deranged fan sign. <laughs> I, I, after... So, I actually, I have the Kiara cuddle blanket, right? So, I actually wouldn't sleep with it for the longest time because I didn't want it to get ruined. But after I was at her house, she gave me her Kiara cuddle blanket to cuddle with. <laughs> and now when I came home, it made me think even more like her, like of, of her. So now I have to sleep with my Kiara cuddle blanket, even though now it's not staying in peak premium condition. And it's so funny because it's like, I have no intention to sell the cuddle blanket ever. So why am I not using it? Like, why do I store the, the things I buy away? I just don't understand myself. Like, I can't use this. It'll get ruined. And I'm like, for what? <laughs> What's it getting ruined for? Now I'm in Hollow Live. So it's my... It's my Takanashi Kiara cuddle blanket. So meaning, uh, if you... Imagine the resale value. This is covered in Nerissa Ravencroft sweat. I feel like that wouldn't be... That wouldn't be particularly unattractive. You, you know what I mean? Like, I, I feel like... For Kiara and Nerissa fans, that would be, like, a really, like, peak deal, actually. Like I I call me crazy. I could I could be crazy. I might be on like copium or something, but yeah, I feel like I feel like if, if gamer girl bathwater can sell for money, then maybe my Kiata cuddle blanket with my sweat on it from sleeping. Like, and again, I don't even have any intention in selling it anyway. So like why am I worrying about like ruining its like quality? <laughs> Um, but yeah, anyway, sorry. Sorry for being icky. Uh, snow yam, let's go. Where do I get that freaking flower? Hmm. Well, meanwhile, a reminder that all of you who bought the limited edition copy of my merch that comes with the signed copy get ready to be so happy because uh i touched all of those and my hands got very sweaty they got very sweaty constantly having to sign things so uh not only did i hold it in my in my hands but there's a bit of my sweat on it there's the air that i breathed Filling up the box. <laughs> you know? And, of course, I hand-signed it. Which is also... Something I did very lovingly. Welcome to Pierre's heated shop. Uh. Huh. <laughs> Hi, Emily. 
Gotta make sure I at least talk to everyone. I need to find the flower. I just need the flower and the nautilus shell. I think you guys said the nautilus shell. I need to... I'll find it on the beach like a regular seashell. Was that what you guys were saying? Please confirm. I wasn't paying close attention because we were having a fun conversation. Crystal fruit. Yes, beach. Okay. Good if I don't have to do anything special. No, I don't need a crystal fruit. Okay. I'll keep an eye out on the beach then throughout this month. Because surely I'll get one, right? Uh, what's this? Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. I love inventory full. <laughs> oh, it's already five. The sun's going down. Christmas is over. Christmas is over when, um, when I say it is actually. Is your mom making preparations for her debut? So I think I mentioned this before. It seems like we might actually hit it pretty fast. I don't know how fast it is because obviously uh, my accelerated growth from my shorts isn't necessarily going to keep itself up just because it would be nice for it to, right? <laughs> so if we continue at this rate though, it seems like we'll reach it in like maybe 10 days. Maybe about 10, 10 days. And I need to remind you guys, just so you know, uh, my, my mom is going on vacation somewhere. <laughs> She's going to be gone for a while. Not too, too long, but a little while. Okay. <laughs> um, so we might not be able to do it like the stream after. Uh, after she, like, after we hit the number, unless it happens after she gets back. But otherwise, <laughs> delayed to 650k. <laughs> no, that would be evil. I wouldn't do such a thing. But yeah, so we'll be keeping an eye out, though, of course. Um, and we'll be doing it whenever she does get back. At some point, whenever that is. But I, I won't delay it. Well, it'll just be delayed until she gets back. And then I'll just need to put something together. So don't worry about it too much. I just know people are going to ask immediately and be like, why haven't you done it the moment you hit the sub count? Excuse me. <laughs> Can we on go on vacation with your mom? I'm. You'd have to ask her. But sure. Okay. Why didn't I find the flower yesterday? I'm mad about the flower. One sec. Sorry, Malphus II just came in my room to show me a pen- I don't know what it is. He, like, made, like, a, a pencil thing that, like, catapults a pencil. And, like, he came into my room last night when I was trying to sleep. And he was like, hey, Norissa, Norissa, look at this. Look at this thing that I have built. It- it Ballista. Ballista, sorry. <laughs> He's mad and I'm not calling it by the right name. <laughs> There's your preview of Malthus the Second's voice. Gross. But yeah, so he came in my room last night and he's like, so, and I'm trying to sleep, mind you. It's late. I'm like, so, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm sleeping. I'm literally in my bed. I'm literally sleeping. And this asshole comes in my room 
turns on my light and goes, so, uh, this, sh he just got a 3D printer. It was his, like, Christmas gift to himself. He's like, so, uh, in ancient Rome, and I'm, I'm so perplexed because I brought up Rome to him and I'm like, I haven't heard anything about, like, Rome from you recently. And he was like, I'm just not, I don't even remember what he said, but it, like, perplexed me because he, like, made an excuse for why. He's not like as Rome enthused recently. And I was like, are you even really my brother? <laughs> are you even my brother? I don't think you are because my brother would never say such a thing. Um, but thankfully, it seems like he is cured because he came and uh, talked to me about Rome. So clearly he's back on his bullshit. I should maybe drop some stuff off to sell it, perhaps? Tell, tell him he's based in a scholar. He already knows. He already knows. <laughs> he doesn't need me to tell him. He came in and he was like, look, look. And I was like, bro, little bro, I'm streaming. And he was like, oh, we'll tell them about it. And I was like, little bro, why don't you? And then he was like, oh, can they hear me? And I was like, no. And he was like, uh, then no. <laughs> so... But then he came in anyway to say, uh, to tell you, or rather to tell me it was a ballista. So, I don't know. Oh. Uh, the fuck? Yeah, but you guys heard him anyway. He's one of his own sons. He does want my attention recently. You guys know how little brothers are, I'm sure. They feel ignored when you're busy and then they're like, Oh, spend time with me, sister. I'm like, excuse me. You hate me every other time I'm doing anything, but then I get busy and suddenly you want to talk to me. He's starting, I think he is starting to warm up to the jailbirds. I think we might be able to convince him to come on stream someday. Would that make you guys happy? Would you be pleased? Would you be happy to have the little bro show up someday? <laughs> Ooh, flute block. Nice. Yeah, I think I'm still mad though because you know, it would have been so much fun if he would have agreed to come play uh, the game with us when me, Malfa, and Aradia played uh, Super Mario Party. Because that game is so much fun. And, like, it's a four-player game. We had to play with Birdo when we could have been playing with Malthus the second. <laughs> Tell him to teach us about the Roman Empire. Don't test him. He will. If you, if you ask him to talk about something, you might inevitably bite off more than you can chew and end up having to listen to a conversation you're maybe less interested in than you thought. You know what I mean? Uh, why are there, like, footprints? Why do they end here? I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that. There's footprints and they just end. It's kind of crazy. Okay. <laughs> Guys, I can't answer your Rome questions. It's been a long time since I took Greeks and Romans. Bundle complete, let's go! Winter seeds. So many wonderful bundles. Thank you. Thank you. A craft room. He's got a little star. Go on. Like, has anyone come in this building since the mayor has unlocked it and just realized that, like, it's kind of, like, becoming weirdly, like, fixed?
hit the bush. It's not this one, right? Eh? I can't even... Shake, not attack. Guys. Big bush? <gasps> Hi. Eep, you caught me. I'm sorry. Take it, take it. It looks so valuable. I couldn't help myself. You received the magnifying glass. You now have the ability to find secret notes. These notes reveal rare and useful information. Oh, Grobus, come back. We're friends. Please, you're my little guy. He's gone. For shame. We finished yet another bundle. We need a Nautilus shell. And lo and behold. Would you lucky what we've got here, jailbirds? Exactly what the doctor ordered. Michi, thank you for the super. <laughs> I had a debut. History lesson. Puffer's a oya oya or ora ora. I I don't know. I honestly I don't know anything. I don't know what's gonna happen when um we reach other goals. I I wasn't necessarily planning on making them all of all of them unlock a new family member. But that seems to be what you guys want. Is that there is a yawning yet varying character? <sighs> I hate that she still will not be my friend. I just cannot stand it. Ah, uh, Pam. Pamela. Pam Jam. Even in my first time playing, I feel like the kids are just, like, the most difficult to become friends with. Because, like, who fucking cares, you know? Like, I'm not really here to, like, become friends with the kids. And, like, who is? Like, I, I don't think anybody really cares. I forget. How do I quick stack? <laughs> How do I quick stack? Guys, wait. There's a way. There's a, there's a way to quick stack, right? Um. Ugh. And that quick stacks here? I could have sworn. Oh! <gasps> Thank you. Okay. Nice. I don't know. For some reason, I thought that that would send everything into my inventory. Which is a mistake on my part, obviously. It's my mistake. Alex sells ice cream. I mean, what kid doesn't like ice cream? Valid. I know I sure as hell like ice cream. <sighs> okay. One completion. And this one ups friendship. So it's not necessarily the most important. Obviously, my goal is to ASAP get the greenhouse, but it's my own fault because, um, 
a lot of these things that I need are trees. And one of the reasons I'm so against getting a tree and planting it is because I like to keep my trees in the greenhouse so that at all times of the year I can get fruit. So it feels like a waste to me, you know, to like plant fruit trees outside. Nerissa? You scared me sneaking into my room like that. <sighs> I've been playing Journey of the Prairie King for hours and I can't even beat the first level. This game is ridiculously hard. Well, either that or I'm just terrible at it. I think we know what one it is. Hey, do you want to try this level together with me? I think I might do better with your help. Yeah. How do you play? Oh. Uh. Wait, I haven't played this game yet in in this playthrough. Did she fucking die? Damn, she does suck. Like I don't even know what I'm doing. I I'm sure I'm doing badly too, but like she sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. This is this is a long romance event, you know? I died. What happened? Eh? It better not have restarted the level. Did it really just restart the level? I stopped looking away for a second. Please, I'm not trying to romance her. Why is it that she gets to die 50 times, but I die once and the game is over? I literally have like three lives. Oh. Nice. Hey, that was fun. Thanks, Nerissa. I didn't think you know how to work a joystick so well, but it seems you're experienced. Yeah. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I'm pretty experienced, you could say that. I need to leave so she can leave. And then I can go in. Why did I go in? Hmm. What's something that blooms in the spring? Um, <laughs> what's spring? Oh, it's so expensive though. Fall. Um, I guess we have no truth but to get a cherry tree. All right. Take my money, Pierre. Pomegranate. Pomegranate. Let's look. So Linus, we need to talk to. He's almost our best, best friend. We need to talk to Shane and Demetrius. Because uh, we're not romancing Shane, but we need to get him all the way up. You know what I mean? We've got work to do.
Hi. <sighs> oh, Shane. What have I been giving Shane this whole time? Is it this? Yeah. Uh. Sorry that I'm yawning so much. For whatever reason. I had a really nasty nightmare last night, actually. So I... Am uh, not thriving at this particular moment. Not thriving nor surviving. Uh, but I'm alive. You yeah, know, it's just a dream. <sighs> but it kind of ruined my sleep, you know? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. It's just a dream. Let's give him some berries. Become my friend, Linus. Paul Bibu is scary. Bibu is not. Oh, that's another thing. Tonight, for those of you who may not be aware, don't forget we have a cover coming out. Me and uh, Bibu Bibu. Also, Riam Yamatronic, thank you for the pinky. The usual lurk here. Been loving the karaoke and Stardew streams that accommodate you, Jailbird. has been really excited for my trip to JP with my friends. <gasps> Midwest Hell represent. <laughs> thank you. Lurker or not, you are appreciated. Yeah, Atolmeroid from Vivino's uh, Pink Bitch Club. I really liked the Pink Bitch Club. I know they've kind of moved on now. Are you kidding me? I literally can't... Eh? There we go. But yeah, so I'm quite... I'm quite pumped for it to release. Uh, I worked really hard on it. This was a song I really wanted to cover for a long time and was glad to have Bibu agree to my selfish request of singing it with me. <laughs> mm -hmm. You guys are going to love it, though. We'll take a break if I'm still, uh, if the stream is still going by then. To go and uh, watch it together. I'm not going to raid into it or anything, obviously, because I'm still going to be streaming. But, uh, or until we end the month at least. But, um, I will be linking it. <laughs> I will be linking it for you guys to check out. So, yeah. Now, no matter what, if we don't get to buy one, we'll have cherries in the spring. So we should be good. I need to make another one of these. I don't know how I'm going to get a truffle, though. That one's a little rough. Aquamarine we can find. We have a duck, so it should drop a duck feather any day. This, I think, we get in spring. So we'll have to get that next season. And then wine, we're getting closer to making rabbit. We still need to upgrade one more and then ah, we need a pomegranate too. But hopefully, since that only comes in fall, we'll either get the opportunity to buy it or worst case scenario, we plant pomegranate trees in here. So yeah, we need to work on upgrading our buildings Holes are easiest with pigs, I know. I want to have a pig farm, but everything keeps working in not my favor. 
Is there any other way to get them? Someone please tell me. Is there any other way to get pigs? I think it's just those two left, right? Yeah. I'm really hoping, though, that we get lucky with the lady. I think this is a maple tree. I actually don't know. No, it's this one. This is my apple tree. Unlimited supply of bacon, exactly. Uh, we also really need to upgrade the house. Um, so maybe the next few days, I want to check out the, the quarry that opened up, but maybe we should also be collecting regular wood and stone, as well as, of course, hardwood, because who doesn't like to collect a little hardwood? <laughs> and then when we get a basement, we can start making wines. And then it will be easy. Easy game. <laughs> Put that bonk hammer away. Mmm. I might be a little more quiet today just because probably because I didn't sleep particularly well my voice feels like shit uh, please just milk the cow but you know that's that's how the cookie crumbles sometimes so East Voltava I'll probably still talk just enough but so if there's any moments where I seem like I'm just chilling and enjoy the enjoy the game. Please chill and enjoy it with me. Give me your feathers. Oh, my duck is such a happy little guy. Yes, he is. Look at the happy baby. Quack quack. My shuba shubaru. Oh, sorry, I keep yawning again. I'm just tired today. I'm tired and the tired won't go away. Hmm. Okay. No, I need that. Okay. Let's go. Hi, Pam. No. Ah, uh, quarry. You're telling me this existed the whole time and I couldn't get here? That doesn't make any sense. Can I use this? No, of course not. So, I think the stuff in the quarry changes with your level. Or am I crazy? Please correct me if I'm incorrect. Bull. Okay. What does that mean? Oh, prismatic shard. Okay, that's good. Can I duplicate the prismatic shard in the thing? In the area? Iridium. Yeah, don't sell that. Well, I'm not worried about selling it. What I'm worried about is needing to give it to the museum. Because God knows I'll never find another prismatic shard again in the game. <laughs> so do I give it to the museum or do I keep it for a sword? The galaxy sword? Okay, how do I get the galaxy sword? I didn't do that before. So I need you guys to like carry me. Through whatever it is I need to do. Uh, be greedy? Okay. <laughs> I'll be greedy. 
Desert, stand in between the three pillars. Okay. Uh, remind me tomorrow to go get the sword. We'll take our prismatic shard and go do that. Sounds good. Because I don't exactly know what you're talking about. So, like what pillars? I'm not sure. So we'll, we'll figure it out tomorrow. You guys will handhold me. Yeah, tomorrow in the game. What's this? I don't know. I don't know and I don't want to know. <laughs> Northeast corner of the desert. I could go for some dessert right now. I say, having just eaten. Okay. I think it's already time for me to build another new thing, which sucks. I don't want to build another new thing. Another new box. Because I have nowhere to put my prismatic shard. The sandfish is much harder to get. I got a sandfish already. Um... How do I look at this with the magnifying glass? Ha. Use your hand? I want to get everyone something they love. Parsnips, Lysiums, no beer, berry rose, plum pudding, pink cake, grapes, Leek fried mushroom and beets and tulips. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to remember that, but. Yeah, Pam likes beer. Penny just rightfully doesn't really want to give her any. And can I blame her? No. Oh, I almost, I almost gave myself a headache again today. So I've been burning through the Baldur's Gate candles to figure out like what ones I like of the main like uh, companions. Because I really, I really liked uh, the Jahira, Halson, Minsk, and Minthara ones. But I'm not feeling like Lazelle's kind of... It was good. It smelled exactly like you think Lazelle would smell. Um, but I'm also the kind of person who like... My whole purpose of burning a candle is burning it all day so my room is scented. So it was like kind of, it kind of got to be a bit much for me. And then I started burning wills and I felt the same way that I actually had to blow it out and was like, it's fine. I'll burn it tomorrow. Like a locker room. No, it, like it smells good, but it also smells like you'd think Lazel would smell. And I don't know how else to describe it apart from describing it like that. Like it just smells like. It's like lime. It, it's got like a citrusy scent to it, but it doesn't smell like clean citrus. You know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, the candles overwhelmed me and were giving me a headache, so... I had to temporarily stop burning candles. But I was excited to get to the gale candle. My my gale candle and then and then after that one's burned out I can finally burn the Astarian ones, but I have a feeling I'm really gonna like this gale candle. I I just have a feeling. A strong feeling. Okay. Uh. 
organization. Aloha, thank you for the super, Timmy. Um, Gail's, Gail sounds really good. Let me grab it. Gail's candle is amber, parchment, and persimmon. Carlax also really smells good. I just haven't brought myself to burn it yet because I like just sniffing it when I want to smell something sweet. <laughs> what does Carlax smell like? Um, hers is wood smoke, cinnamon, and motor oil. But it smells so sweet. Like, it's very cinnamony. You know? Yeah, Mama K, enjoyer. I love Mama K. When I saw that voice clip of her being like, the saying that and calling herself that, I lost it. Miso loves me! My cat loves me, guys. Got another Iridium bar. Not that it matters, because we've still not got that many. Hopefully the Gale candle doesn't explode when you get to the end. That is valid. I hope it also doesn't explode. Yeah, the sword. So we'll take care of our farm, then we'll pay money to go to the thing. After we, we have to also drop off this maple syrup at the community center. And then you guys will tell me, you'll handhold me through what exactly it is I need to do. Bro. Look at this high quality milk. Milch. What do you think your candle would smell like? What do you guys think I would smell like? Do you have an answer, jailbirds? What, what do you think I... Nerissa Ravencroft would smell like. Cheese curds. You guys are just mean. <laughs> Luxatane. Yeah, I've told you guys this before. I use Luxatane perfume that is cherry blossom scented. It is my everyday perfume use. I smell delectable, but not overly fragrant. Dark berries, vanilla, and musk? Why musk? <laughs> cherry blossom outfit when? I wish. Give me the cherry blossom outfit cover. I'm- I'm asking politely. Okay. Oh, what is this? Turns fishing trash into resources. Let's put that... I don't know. Do I have to, like, put it in my house? Like, why is it being so finicky? Perfume merch would be good. I know! I really want to release perfume merch. Hmm. I need to first go, actually, and I want to say hi to Elliot. To Why did I go to the mines? <laughs> We need to say hi today to Elliot. This would also be a really good time of year to upgrade the watering can if I have enough gold and money. Because I really don't need it.
Could we have a radio version perfume as well? Get out of here. <laughs> Stop, that's my sister. You don't why 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 why? Hmm? Why, huh? Little man version. He he just smells like cat. Do you, do you really want perfume that just smells like cat? Like a little man cat? My little tiny man cat? <laughs> yes, why are you all saying, Perque no! <laughs> Mama Risa perfume? I feel like my mom would smell like red berries. Oh, you know, I used to have... I can't get it anymore, which is the only reason I actually switched. But I used to have a perfume that I also wore all the time, and it was rose and strawberry. It was absolutely chef's kiss, wonderful, delectable, beautiful. Oh my goodness, I loved this perfume so much, but it was like a handmade Game of Thrones inspired perfume. Um, so like, it was just someone like in their basement. Just like making perfume for fun, you know, um, which is really cool. And so I was like supporting like a small business via Etsy. <laughs> but over time, they just kind of stopped selling them. And I think their their just passion for Game of Thrones probably died a bit with, you know, how that last season went. Um, I know we're going to do the sword. I just need to drop off one more thing at the community center and then we're good to go. But yeah, so it was a really good perfume. And I really liked it, but then she stopped selling it, and then she stopped selling perfumes altogether. And I was really sad. Because like, oh my god, seriously, this perfume smelled so fucking good. <laughs> I still think about it. I still think about it, because I remember, even, even more so than the perfume I wear now, I liked this perfume, even more than that. Uh. Uh. I'm hoping that the next book comes out soon. Be nice. I've been waiting for it and I don't even read the books because I was like, when I was really into Game of Thrones, I was like, maybe I'll start reading them when the books are finished. And, um, <laughs> you know, who knows if I hope that happens. I, I hope it happens. But we'll see. How long has it been since the last one? Hasn't it been like something crazy, like over 10 years? Books you read? No, but I like audiobooks. I figure I can I can buy the audiobooks, but that's the thing is like I can't take super long breaks between stuff, you know? Okay, three pillars. Where are these pillars? That's the oasis. Um top right while holding okay. I went the wrong direction. Hop right. CJ, thank you for the pinky. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's go! Prismatic shard change shape before your very eyes. You found the galaxy sword. It's unlike anything you've ever seen. 60 to 80 damage. Nice. The knight is young. I have no armor. We'll die again. Stop. 
It's not really a question of if we'll die, we will die again. But maybe we'll get lucky this time. Because, like, look, our, our, our energy is, like, basically full... I would really like to get enough iridium to upgrade this to an iridium pickaxe. That'd be nice. How how many how often does this this one save? Is it every five floors or is it never? Does this does this one save? Can you ever teleport down to different floors? Please answer never. Shit. Ah, uh, I can't even hit that thing. Excuse me? It's different every time. I see. Is it like dependent on your mining level? So like if I become a higher level, does it like... Oh shit. No random? Random every time, really. That sucks. It's much easier on lucky days. Okay, that's good to know. There's a shaft leading down. You fell eight levels. Ouch. Oh, it's randomly generated, but then how do I find things like iridium? Someone help me. Feel random luck? Really? Bros. That sucks. Iridium spawns more the deeper you go. Yeah, but like in the regular mine, I can barely get like five to ten floors down a day. Hmm, is there any other surefire way to get iridium? I hate these guys. Uh, by 100 stairs. I, I don't even know. I haven't even had a staircase, period. It's just iron, but it looks so fancy for some reason. Lots of bombs, valid. I've never gotten used to using bombs in the mine. What, when, yeah, in the mines. Hmm. Do I have food I can eat that won't kill me? Blazed yams. The jade strats, eh? I don't know what those are. Staircase bombs and good luck. 100 plus levels deep. Oh. oh. I just need to find a diamond for my weird little, little, like, fish that are asking me for fucking diamonds. So we have diamonds. We'll give you caviar. Them acting like I have diamonds sitting around to give fish.
Nice. Please leave me alone, little slimy things. Please. I'm just a guy. I'm just gonna go down. I'm gonna go down. It's fine. It's getting late anyway. I don't know how much longer we're gonna have down here. quickly just make my way over thank you yeah I heard bombs make the mummy stay dead but I haven't gotten to test it yet because I just feel like I never bring bombs with me to the mines if you get low enough just buries you under iridium prismatic shards and stuff how low is low enough? Four levels. I don't need topaz. Inventory full! I don't need slime. Please. A crumb. 80 levels! How are you supposed to get 80 levels in one day when it doesn't save? Um... I know we're gonna have to leave very soon, but... Oh yeah, I can read the note too. That'll give me space. Complete breakfast salmon. Okay, cool. I just wanted to find a diamond. Instead, we're 20 floors down. I don't know how stairs work. People keep recommending them to me. I don't know what they are. <laughs> that is my fault fully. I take responsibility. Stairs, you can just place them. If you want diamonds, look into the mirror. <laughs> You're so sweet, Jailbird. Has anyone ever told you that before? I just not gonna get lucky enough to find a way down like they make ladders down one level I see so if I just make a ton of stairs and I can just artificially pretend I got deeper than I actually did. So it's like cheating. In Stardew Valley. Finally. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I see you. Nope, it's a feature. I see you. That is getting late, huh? We'll clear this out and then we'll go back. Uh... Let's see if I can't just get lucky. No, of course not. Okay. Don't pass that on the way back. Oh shit. Eh? Journal updated. Leave the mine. We gotta get out of here! Yeah, luck is not on my side today. But 
that's okay. If we make it in the mines far enough, can I make a radio my Valentine? No. She has a husband. Ooh. No, you can't have my married sister jailbirds. <laughs> hey, mining level seven. Ugh. Will you be my Valentine, Nerissa? What are you getting me? What the fuck? I just got a ton of money for no reason. Nice. <laughs> Check the journal. I will... Oh, super chats? <laughs> I see. Uh, can I get your mom to be my valentine? What are you giving my mom? You think you can just have my mom be your valentine for nothing? That's my mom. <laughs> I have hot chocolate. Eh, hot chalky. Chalky milk. Yeah, my father would kill you. So maybe I would advise against your guys' great idea to make my mom your valentine. Maybe it's not such a wise idea. Wise guys. I can whisper sweet history lessons in Bro Reese's ear. Okay. He'll take that. I think. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Is there anywhere else in the game where we can easily get Iridium? Huh? Huh. I know I can tab through it just before anyone criticizes me again. I know I can do it, and I just don't care. I don't like to hit the tab button. Killing slimes? Are you sure? That feels fake. Feels like you're just saying that. How many chocolates for every Ravencroft female? I'm feeling romantical. <laughs> uh... Well... I think the best thing, my my sister likes. CJ, thank you for the Akasupa. <laughs> what does Narissa want for Valentine's? Valentine's. I got uh, a radia. Her Ferrero Shay. Eh? How? I am. Um... <gasps> eh? What was I going to say? I don't remember. I don't remember what we were talking about. This is another spot for Iridium is the quarry. Okay! Eepy, eepy, and a whistle waving quaffed. Always the eepiest. Something about what you're. Oh, my sister likes Ferro Rocher. I'm not quite sure what Malfa likes. If I'm honest, uh, I don't know what her husband gets her. Um, I'm 
my mom and me both like chocolate covered strawberries. That is my favorite thing to get myself. Because <laughs> my dad would get them for my mom. And then I would eat some. And then I was like, these are really good. And then I decided that I needed them. <laughs> uh, they're very good. Toko covered cherries. I haven't really... I mean, I've had like the like... What are they? The ones with like cream and stuff, but I'll be honest, I don't really like those. Not that I think that they're bad. I just like would prefer fresh. You know? He supposes he is too vain. Yeah, cherry cordials. What about milk chocolate? I'm, I'm more of a dark chocolate kind of gal. Not that I dislike, um... Oh. Milk chocolate. I do like milk chocolate under certain circumstances. Okay, I want to go to the bus stop. I need to grab some gold bars. If I have enough, I do. But do I have enough money? It's a real question, actually. It'd be really nice to upgrade my axe, too, I suppose. But again, I feel like this is just the perfect season to upgrade my... my watering can. But I feel like it's like 10,000. Yeah, it's really expensive. Slime farming could get you anything you wanted, even diamonds, but it's hard. Yeah, I hate fighting them. Uh... Isn't white chocolate not really chocolate? Yeah, that's why I hate it. It's a waste. It's a waste of good, good chocolate. Coco, Coco, whatever it is. Just get slime. Where am I gonna find slime, you guys? Mm, you make it sound so easy. Let's hope he likes crystal fruit. It's cacao butter, yeah. That's what I meant. Sorry. Don't need it. Oh. We got his hearts all the way up. So we never have to talk to Linus again if we don't want to. We probably will, but we don't have to. Uh, we need to go see Demetrius and see if he also likes crystal fruit. My boy Linus, our first BFF in the town. Now that his hearts are all the way up, we don't have to talk to him anymore. <laughs> Do not be mistaken is not because I don't want to talk to him. It's simply because we need to we need to, you know, befriend everybody else too. And uh, these people all up here are the ones I never talk to. <laughs> like, look. Demetrius likes me almost as much as Shane likes me, and Shane really likes me. Hi, Marum. Yeah, we're best friends. See you in six months. It's not that you won't. It's that you're no longer obligated to. I mean, yeah. Same difference. It's just now the... The friendship meter won't deteriorate. So now I don't have to worry so much, you know? Which is quite beneficial if I do say so myself. Uh, all of these are just rocks. Like, not even with anything interesting. Just rocks. I 
I mean, do any of us like Demetrius? Let's be honest, because Demetrius is married to Robin. And I want to be married to Robin. So tell me how that's fair. Like, imagine getting married to Robin. She should be married to me. Oh. Oh, you know, I wanted to check how much it was to upgrade my house and farms, actually. I don't know why I'm here. Mining rocks. I just feel like I should be able to marry her. And I just think it's very unfair that I can't. Don't let Bijou know. Bijou doesn't need to know that I just destroyed a lot of rocks. <laughs> don't tell Bijou. Pebbles, don't worry. You're too small to mine. Please don't close at five. Please don't close at five. I need to look at how to build stuff. Robin, no! She closed at four. <laughs> it's over for me. Ugh. Pain pickle. Okay, just for fun, I'm just gonna keep, because we've already dedicated so much time to doing this, we're just gonna destroy this whole area. We're just gonna destroy all the rocks that we can. Bye bye pebble. Bye bye pebble. Sorry pebble. Bye bye pebble. Bye bye pebble. Sorry pebble. Bye bye pebble. See you next time pebble. You'll respawn pebble. Don't worry pebble. You'll be back pebble. I'll put you to good use pebble. I'll build something on my farm with you pebble. Won't you be happy then, Pebble? You'll be happy there, Pebble. <laughs> There's no more Pebbles. Sorry, Pebble. Re rest in peace, Pebble. <laughs> Um, I guess I can turn these. I want to try. I feel like I didn't try this before. No, uh, I need to collect. Okay, let's read this. Mermaid show. Eh. One, five, four, two, three. I don't remember. Someone help. Please remind me what that is. Uh, four? Because I don't think we're close to that yet for it to matter. You know? Why are you all writing it down? Special code for reward. Well, remember it for when it's time for the reward. <laughs> Secret notes are in your menu. Okay. Thank 
Thanks for taking an interest in my work. <gasps> oh, we're friends. Why does that feel like way too cool of a thing to turn the trash into? One day I'll find a diamond. Winter festival on the 16th. Okay, so we got about 10 days. I'm just really hoping I don't run out of hay. Because that could have the potential to be pretty bad. We found our diamond. Well, aren't you just lucky? Hey, duck feather, we needed that. Okay, very nice. Cute. Cute, cute. They look fine. No, don't eat the egg. Vod gang, hi! If you're here, post a chicken emoji in the comments. Thank you very much for watching the VOD, for popping by through your busy schedule. Chat, say hello to VOD gang. <laughs> Future me. <laughs> yeah, bok bok. Bok bok. Give this a secret and amethyst to Emily. So he wants me to find an amethyst, go to Emily and give it to her and say it's from him. But he's not willing to go and get the amethyst himself. Akikiriki. We're picking a chicken because Kiara is back. And she is our beloved chicken. <laughs> so of course, there's no better thing to to post I really want to put the pumpkin in a thing but I don't have any um I just need wood for a chest I guess I can get 50 wood wood I need to sell these, but I'm going to do it later. Okay. Ooh, so many worms. Worm. Prehistoric tool. Utter Brad, thank you. I hope you had a happy birthday. Chirp, 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 chirp. You know, one time I got Maki out of this trash can and then I've never been so lucky again. When will I get that lucky? What is the chance of Maki dropping? <gasps> Shit, was it Friday yesterday in game? Guys, you didn't remind me to go and check the traveling merchant lady. Oh, uh. oh, uh. we forgot. It's okay, I forgot to. Don't forget tomorrow. Remind me. Every time you realize it's traveling merchant day, yell at me. Do whatever you've got to do. You've got to be like, Narissa, stop everything you're doing. Nothing else in the game matters. Go see the traveling merchant. She might have something you need. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Hello, Elliot. Do our screeches have to make sense, or can they just be random screeches? I mean, I guess whatever makes you happy. And whatever that is. I'm just a yawny kind of person. I do be yawning though. Hey! Do you like snow yams? I've given you two gifts. Which means I've probably given Demetrius two gifts. Need anything else? Yes, your friendship. I need your hearts to go up uh, enormously fast. Okay, upgrade house. It's 10,450 pieces of word. wood. I could do this if I go back, uh, but what about my farm buildings? Um, so obviously I really want another, uh, not a shed. I really need the deluxe not coop. I already have that. I need this. I have enough money. I have enough money, but even then, I still have another upgrade to do. Or no, I don't have this coop yet. I need this coop, but it's too expensive. So... <laughs> What's going to be more beneficial for me to upgrade the barn now and then work on getting the house next or to upgrade my house? I, I guess maybe for marriage purposes, I should do my house. No. House for cooking. Yeah, house for cooking. You're right. You've convinced me. But I do need rabbits. Ugh. Where's my stone? Where is it? I'm pretty sure it's here. Cone peckle, cone peckle, cone peckle. <laughs> I need to upgrade my house for the purpose of marriage. It is a requirement. But you guys are right that if I upgrade the coop now, I can get rabbits and start befriending them. But the deluxe coop is really expensive and I also really need truffles. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, I guess this is going to be easy. We don't have enough for the deluxe coop because apparently we're short. Um, 10 wood. Oh, but it's so expensive. I'll literally have no money. I just don't want to do this just for the reason of I will have literally no money. Theoretically, we'll be fine with goat cheese. So I feel like the right option to do at this moment is going to be the big barn. You know? And then I don't spend all of my money yet. <laughs> Um, I want to get the farm.
No, Narissa, don't tell me what to do. It's too late. You can have boy chickens. You will get the deluxe barn eventually. That's the thing that you're missing. Eventually, we will have it. But we can't even buy anything if we don't have any money. I need to get rich first. And I don't, I'm not, I'm not good at that because usually I rely on plants in my greenhouse and we, we need to get that urgently. <laughs> and we can't. And if we can get a goat, we might be able to just fudge it. So we can make goat cheese. But for now, I'm going to spend the day cutting down trees in the forest. Sounds good to me. <laughs> what do you guys think? Sound like a solid plan? I'd be happy if we could get a thousand wood. We probably won't do that today, mind you, but I would be happy if we could get a thousand wood. Look, we're already at 147. If you need money, you get the greenhouse. Explain. You're, you're gonna need to give me some more context. What do you mean? <laughs> Grow whatever. I mean, oh yeah, no, the, the literal greenhouse. Yeah, that's literally what we're trying to do. At the moment. Uh? Lucius Merriweather, is that you? It does snow in the game. I mean, in winter, yeah. Hello, welcome. Thank you for coming and checking at, at, at me out. <laughs> yeah, this game's pretty fucking fun. Not gonna lie. I must never got past summer. Definitely play. It is so worth it. It is such a fun game. And like, honestly, you can just get lost playing it. It's it's definitely one of those things <laughs> where you have to like take take a lot of time into it. But if you have the time, oh, oops, I clicked off of the game. If you have the time, then it's a good it's a good time sink. Also, thank you. Back to cutting down trees. We're not close to the 500 that we need for the deluxe. Uh, and again, ideally, I'd like to get a thousand collected. Would be ideal. You never planted the seasonal seeds. <laughs> I, I needed the tea saplings. I need tea saplings. I don't- I don't understand. I'm gonna be real. I like Stardew Valley. Am I good at Stardew Valley? No. <laughs> Did that book just fall into the fucking water? I think- it, I didn't- it didn't say anything. It didn't say I picked up a book. I think it fell into the water. We're never gonna see that book again, you guys. I can never finish the game. We, we will never ever beat the game. Because we've lost a book. It fell into the water, it's over. It's gonna come back in like a thousand years. Uh, someone's gonna find it and turns out it's gonna be like the most important book you could find in the game. Uh... 
The museum won't accept wet books. Huh? But they should, though. Don't they know it's limited edition? See, I wish I could get good at, like, making money immediately in this game. Uh, before starting this playthrough at all, I did watch someone who talked about it a bit, but she quickly got to the point where I didn't understand what the hell she was saying. Because she was like, and now you do this, this, and this. And I was like, huh? You can do that in this game. H how was I supposed to know that? How do people figure this stuff out? That's probably all we are going to get for today, but that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good haul of wood. 551, not too shabby. I'm happy with that. Berry crops so many. Yeah, I need to plant my strawberries, but I'm waiting. I'm lying in wait. Do, 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 do. Okay, um. Look at that. We have so many stones. Here, I'll use a tab button. For once in my life, I'll hit tab just for you guys. You think you're crazy? Check out slime breeding. What did you just say to me? Slime breeding? You've made that up. I don't believe- I don't believe what you just said is a real thing. No way. Please tell me you're joking. you Huh? 3,000 monies, let's go! Hey, my gold watering can is re- Hello there, so your first year in Stardew Valley is almost over, huh? If you keep buying seeds from me, you'll be twice as productive next year. I'll be selling new seed varieties in my shop next year. I should have one new variety per season. Good. Goodbye. Uh, Pierre seeds are the highest quality seeds you'll find anywhere. That's a promise. I hate you, Pierre. I only buy from you because I'm nice. We're all gathering in front of Marnie's house for the Festival of Ice. Ice fishing competition. Let's go. Yeah, imagine coming to someone's house to advertise your products. Only Pierre would do something like that. Yeah, traveling merchant check. Thank you. We will do that after we go through and take care of our animals. I also still need to drop off this duck feather. He went to his, my house to talk about his seeds. I would be so mad, actually, if someone came to my house to advertise. Like, it's one thing when a Girl Scout comes to your house and asks you to buy their cookies. Because who doesn't love Girl Scout cookies? You know? I love Girl Scout cookies. I'm so happy when someone comes over and says, Hey, you want to buy some Thin Mints? I go, oh, fucking hell yeah, I do. Hand him over. They don't come anymore? Huh? You're kidding, right? They, they still go house to house. When I was a Girl Scout, I went house to house selling Girl Scout cookies.
been a long time. Yeah. I guess. Okay. Bug meat, pumpkin pie, artichoke dip, bait, slime, houseplant. They have nothing. They hate me. They still come to my house, but I see them sell outside or at Walmart or other stores. Yeah. Yeah. That's sad, though. I didn't realize times had changed so much. But I think you guys are right, even that I remember mostly buying them now from the store. Not really going out and uh, getting them directly delivered to me these days. Oh, how times have changed. <laughs> I don't think as many kids go into Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts, really. I thought it was always a fun way to get to know other kids in the community and like have activities to do. And back in my day, we'd meet up with all the Girl Scouts and we'd go wandering through the woods in the back of one of ours houses. <laughs> my Girl Scout days. I don't remember it too, too much because it was a really long time ago. But, um... It was fun. I, I enjoyed... I enjoyed that. Um, I liked it because, again, I got to meet other girls in the community. Which is always nice. Because, again, who doesn't like meeting people? Who live nearby. Okay. Let's see. Can we make it to the bus stop before it is gone? I know we have to be there pretty quick. But it was always nice because it kind of gave you like a friend group. Was I friends long term with anyone in Girl Scouts? No, but I also wasn't like... I don't know. I was never one of the, like, popular girls. And did I miss it? I think I missed it. Uh. He's gone. Even though you're so funny. Yeah, I think I just- I had a harder time getting along with kids because growing up I, I wore a lot of my sister's hand-me-downs and they didn't really fit me so I always just kind of looked I guess not like a rich kid <laughs> and everyone else around me was a rich kid <laughs> oh hello there my dad and I are just testing some soil samples don't be shy we could use a hand actually Could you watch the speaker for me? I'm gonna grab the last batch of samples. I'll be right back. Thanks for helping out, Narissa. You're welcome, Demetrius. Where's a good kid? She's my special little girl. Uh. I wouldn't want anything getting in the way of her bright future. Know what I mean? What a bitch. I'm not even romancing her. She doesn't even like me. Just some food for thought. <laughs> what a bitch. God, I hate Demetrius. Sorry about that. I hope you found something to talk about while I was gone. I was just telling Narissa about the soil samples we're testing. Uh, actually, your dad was being weird. Uh, huh? What did you say to her dad? 
Okay, okay. We were talking about you, sweetie. I wanted to say a few things to Nerissa about you, but I didn't want to embarrass you. I shouldn't have lied about it. Yeah, I'm not even trying to date your daughter. That's okay, Dad. I understand. <laughs> we should get back to work before, they, before these samples crystallize. Please don't hate me, Demetrius. It had to be done. I feel like he would like mushrooms. Oh, he didn't. He didn't like the mushroom. But Shane, I he, either Demetrius went down a heart or Shane went up a heart. I didn't realize. When when did we get Shane there? I'm not sure. I missed something. <laughs> Is Papa Risa like that? Yes. He would love to show off his big knives. He likes purple mushrooms? All of these bitches like purple mushrooms. <laughs> He's rude and has bad taste, right? Like, the red mushrooms are rare. You should be happy. But yeah, in school, I wasn't really, like, ever one of the popular kids. But, you know, it's to be expected when you're a theater kid. So it's not like I ever expected to be popular, per se. But so, I didn't have the coolest clothes. I didn't have the coolest things. I just kind of came to school with my hoodie on. <laughs> my big oversized hoodie. And then I'd, uh, you know, I'd just go to school. I'd not really talk much. I was just living. Um, I got, I actually did become pretty popular near the end of my, my high school career. Because, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know why. I think maybe I just got more comfortable, like, in my own skin, and I kind of stopped caring so much what people thought about me. That suddenly, everyone wanted to be my friend. And I was the lead in the musical. So, suddenly everyone... <laughs> everyone was quite interested in me. Puberty. <laughs> you might be onto something there. Maybe I'm giving people too much credit. That's when you became a demon bird? I mean, I've been, I've been a demon. I, I was always a demon bird. If you're asking when I became a sound demon, then yeah. Pretty pretty early, I'd say. Probably like middle school aged. I was pretty young. I hadn't hit puberty yet by the time that I became a sound, a sound specific demon. I was still flat. <laughs> Ugh. Power of the horns increased in that time. Yeah, perhaps. I think maybe I just got less, you know, less self conscious about myself. Which is a nice thing to be. Ugh. Flat? No way! Once upon a time, I know. Once upon a time, I was a child and didn't have my boobs. Isn't it so hard to believe? Oh. I actually got bullied in preschool, of all things. I got bullied so much in the second grade. I got bullied so much in the second grade. I remember there was this one uh, thing where we had to collect beads. Uh, we didn't have to collect beads, but basically, uh, instead of going out for a recess, you could choose to stay inside and like sort beads with the teacher. Um, and I, I preferred to do that because uh, I didn't have a winter coat. <laughs> So instead of going outside and playing, 
I would I would sit every day and this was for the whole class so it's not like I was just doing something for me I was just doing something you know and um again this was like I think this one was fourth grade uh it sounds like a punishment maybe a bit but it was fun for me and I remember I I was sitting there and then one day the popular girls decided that they wanted to stay inside and do it and they shunned me the whole time as if I wasn't supposed to be there <laughs> and I was just like ladies I've been staying in here every day making this a thing that I do why are you acting like I'm in the wrong place <laughs> You guys are the one who don't actually care to do this. You want to stay inside and you're just mad that I'm here even though I'm I'm doing something that benefits the whole class arts and crafts. The teacher did nothing. Um I I got in really bad trouble at school that year. So, I think I think my teacher <laughs> didn't like me. <laughs> But honestly, the trouble I got into, I don't remember if I talked about it, but it wasn't it wasn't my fault. Uh I I I had said something and it wasn't it wasn't inappropriate even. I just said something and I basically told an adult at like this sports day that I was like a, a bit sad and that I didn't want to come to school anymore because <laughs> of the bullying. And for some reason she saw me as a threat, so she reported me. Uh, to the office who then called me in and they said oh we heard that you made a, a really serious threat and I was like huh <laughs> I was like I'm in the fourth grade what are you talking about <laughs> and they uh we actually found out that this was illegal but they put me in a room alone with a cop and um made me get interrogated by a cop and I was just sitting there and I was like, huh? I was so confused. And I was like, what's, huh? <laughs> Why am I here? And I I was so mad because you know how schools, uh, they, they reward you if you have perfect attendance. I had not missed a single day of school this year. And they suspended me, even though they were like, oh, she's not a threat. She's just sad, actually. <laughs> but they were like, well, because a parent reported it, uh, that parent might be mad if we don't suspend you. And again, I didn't. I didn't have anything on me. I didn't make any threats. Literally, it was. It was. It was nothing. It was absolutely nothing. But they had decided to appease this one parent who I told I was sad in the fourth grade, and she thought I was a threat that they needed to suspend me. So they wouldn't even give me in-school suspension. So I, because I got suspended, I didn't get my perfect attendance, meaning I didn't get to shake the principal's hand and go to the pizza party at the end of the year. Oh, my parents were pissed. Uh, M Mama and Daddy Ravencroft, they were pissed as hell. When they got called to the school, they were like, hmm, Nerissa? <laughs> well, what do you mean, Nerissa? We would have expected Aradia to get suspended, but our fourth grader, Nerissa? What did she do? She's sweet as a button. <laughs> So they came and they got me and then they, um, I was crying so hard because I was like, I'm already having a bad day and I don't understand why I'm in trouble. And now I don't get to go to the pizza party at the end of the year. <laughs> and so my parents took me out to get pizza. <laughs> so it was okay. But yeah, um, so I think, I think, uh, some of the teachers, because technically it was on my school record, that I was suspended for making a threat again. And I want to really, really clarify. I was in fourth grade. I did not make any threat. I simply explained I was sad and wished the school would go away. So I didn't have to come to this school. And this deranged parent thought that I was going to somehow as a fourth grader, get rid of the school. <laughs> I don't know. It was a very deranged situation, honestly. Like, I still can't believe being old now, that they put me in a room alone with a cop. That's so crazy to me that they were like, that they put me in a room with a cop to get interrogated. As a fourth grade. <laughs> Sorry for the pause in the game. I just, I still, I still can't believe that that happened. I never ever got in trouble with school ever again before or after that. Never ever. <laughs> 
So it's it's kind of it's kind of hilarious because I'm literally was never ever problematic at school. It was just very dumb. After that, I never talked to anyone's parents again at any event, even if they tried to talk to me because I was like, well, for some reason, adults are really bad people. <laughs> that happened to me too. I was in sixth grade, dude. That's horrible. I wasn't scared straight. I never did anything wrong. But yeah, so I think, granted, that was closer to the end of the year, but I think the teacher just probably didn't really like, he did not care about me, but you know, he had a lot of students. So I don't think he was, like, eager to jump at my aid, you know, when the girls were being kind of nasty. I don't know. I actually... So after that happened, uh, elaborating more on the story, the worst thing... The situ Sorry again for pausing the game. The, the situation took a turn for the worst, even. So I was literally... Um, they were like, well, how can we avoid you you saying stuff like you want the school to go away? And I was like, I don't know. I just get bullied a lot here by like kids, like by like other kids. And like, so I really, I just really wish that kids would be nicer. <laughs> and like, what kid doesn't want that? And then they said, okay, well, we're gonna make a day where we go into specifically your class only and have a talk about bullying. And then we're not going to, we're not going to bring the people who are bullying you to the office or have a talk with them. We want you to confront them and point them out in front of the entire class that they've been bullying you. <laughs> So they do that whole thing and I literally, I literally did exactly what the adults told me to do. And I said, I, I remember the kids specifically that I just said, you guys have been very mean to me this year. And literally they said, no, we haven't been. And then they, the, the adults didn't say anything. They just moved on. <laughs> All they did was move on. Yeah. And then I got bullied harder. Yeah. So I'm sure they were like you're you're a snitch and that's why some kids didn't like me or something but yeah it was so dumb because i'm like again now that i'm an adult i'm like why would you put a kid in that situation <laughs> you know but my school got better as i got older because i was getting really badly bullied by a girl in my gym class and to the point where she was uh, spreading really nasty rumors about me that i had i had to go to the student counselor and be like yo she will not stop. I've tried very nicely to talk to her. I have not been mean to her. I've been so nice. Can you can you guys please? And she got called to the office. She never never picked on me again. <laughs> so thankfully things improved as I got older, but uh it was a little bit odd as as a kid, you know. <laughs> Give us a name. Just want to talk to him. No, I don't wish I I mean, look. It was it was elementary school. Let's be real. Who cares about elementary school? <laughs> I hope they've all grown up to become nicer people. And, you know, I hope they're all living really good lives now. Because it, it was elementary school. You know, who cares? Like, it's, it's the past now. I am very different than I am now. And, you know, if they didn't change and become nice people, then karma will come for them eventually. And that's not my problem. <laughs> So, yeah, kids are mean. That's why I'm happy I'm an adult. <laughs> Anyways, sorry for the little tangent. Let's continue the game. Uncle Shane's in the barn. He said, uh, he said to tell you he wants to show you something. Go on, show me the blue chickens. Fresh eggs. That should do it. Yeah, and then I got sent to Advent Jail. <laughs> it's a perfect home for you hens. We'll have the best eggs in the whole valley. Fresh and healthy with rich golden yolks. Uh, not like those pale, sickly Joja eggs. Uh, you know, Charlie, I was thinking. Guy like me is always teetering on the edge of despair, know what I mean? I know, Shane. But you and the other hens are going to keep me upright from now on. I know it. What's wrong? Too much pressure? <laughs> 
Yeah, why do you have... Why are you holding the one hen that's not blue? Hey, Narissa. So, what do you think? <laughs> now you get bullied by Shiori. Oh, no. That's why I kind of... I really don't like when people pick on me. Like, when I'm streaming and stuff. Because I'm... I'm small. <laughs> it actually does sometimes get to me a little bit. Because I got... I got bullied a lot for a lot of different things for being a nerd. But with Shiori, it's different because, like, Shiori's my friend. I know she doesn't mean anything negatively, you know? My special blue hens. I've been raising them in secret for the last few months. I... Well, I won't be living here forever, and I wanted to pass something on to Jess. I've been teaching her how to care for them. I want to feel like I'm not just a leech on the world. I want to contribute somehow, even in a small way like this. Yeah, Shiori is my little tsundere. <laughs> I love her, though. <laughs> yeah, and Shiori is, a, Shiori is a sweetheart behind the scenes to me. Even sometimes she accidentally uh, is nice to me on stream. <laughs> like a few days ago. That was quite a funny experience. I love her. I like it when you bully Mokoko. Do I bully Mokoko? I have never bullied a Mokoko. <laughs> I do bully Mokoko. But not- I'm not mean to Mokoko. We just banter. Like with the gnome. <laughs> Cause she wouldn't put it down. But I still love her. And I wish her only the best because she's uh actually in my DMs today. My wife. One of my wives. Uh, you know, I saw that there's ship art of me and Mokoko. I feel like I've already talked about this. Uh but wait, what was I saying? I got lost. I got lost in the sauce. I don't remember what I was saying. <laughs> My my brain lost me. Leaking DMs? Oh, they were just sending me something and asking for my opinion on it. It's not really leaking anything because I'm not telling you what exactly it was. Oh, Mokoko ship art! Yeah! I'm so surprised. I, I'm, I'm not upset, obviously. But I'm- I'm surprised. Oh. Belly button tail, yeah. See, I think it says a lot. <sighs> Never mind, I- It's hard. Someone asked me, they're like, Would you rather touch Mokoko's belly button or Huawa's foofies? And uh, I actually- uh, I asked to touch Mokoko's belly button, but both of those- <laughs> It's hard. It's difficult for me, you know? How am I supposed to pick? You know? You can't just- you can't just give me choices like that and expect me to be able to figure out what I want. It's like impossible. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> I love all of Advent, though. I like me and Mokoko's fun dynamic of teasing each other. <laughs> She's very little sister energy, which is actually perfect for me. Because I think I've told you guys this, but I always, always wanted a little sister. And I just never got one. Uh, because obviously my mom decided to have a little brother for me instead. So Mokoko... Mokoko is really special to me because she feels like my little sister, even though I know, like, realistically, she's not. She's Fuwawa's little sister, but, like, I, I feel like in my heart, she's the little sister I never had. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, does that make sense? Or do I just sound crazy? <laughs> um, and then Fuwawa. Fuwawa. She feels like that really refined person that, like, I hang out with on the weekends to, like, go get tea and, like, catch up on, like, our life, you know? Like, she feels very relatable to me in a lot of ways that make me feel like, oh, yeah, me and Fuwawa, we're, like, the same person. We're not, obviously. We're very, very different. But, like, there's a lot of ways where, with Fuwawa, I feel very similar. <laughs> hey... So I love Fuamoko. Isn't Fuwawa the evil twin? No. Neither of them are evil. How could you say such a thing about Fuamoko? <sighs> Is it because you and Fuwawa are similarly endowed? No. I feel like personality-wise, when, when we were all together, Mokoko and Bibu, I was paying a lot of attention to them because I was very nervous they were going to get lost. Because <laughs> they were so, like, in their own world. And me and Fuwawa were together locking eyes and making sure that the kids didn't get lost, you know? <laughs> eh. Festival. It's begun. Maybe you're the evil twin. Excuse me. He's entering the ice fishing competition. But then obviously with Bibu, she also feels like another little sister, but also like she feels like a really, me and Bibu are really good friends. I am obsessed with Bibu. I feel like we could just talk for hours, you know, about like everything. She's a zoomer in the same way that I am, you know? <laughs> We're the same kind of, of zoomers. Ooh. Things I don't need to buy. Eternal Gal Pals. Yeah! And then Shiori. It's so hard for me to describe me and Shiori's dynamic. I feel like. I am a- I feel like it's- it's a joke, but I am eternally pining after Shiori and she is teasing me. You know? I pine after her. She teases me. We're like an old married couple. Maybe that is possibly the best way it can be described. An old married couple that gets off on teasing each other a little bit. Eh? I'm not a zoomer, but I watch TikToks on YouTube. So even if I'm not a zoomer, I still get the zoomer energy. But there's certain zoomer energy things obviously I'll never understand. But I feel like I understand it to the same amount as Bibu. You know what I mean? I'm ready. That's pretty zoomer behavior. Yeah, I mean, when my job is literally, you know, working on the internet. <laughs> There's many fish. I'm ready. So... Yeah, sticking out your yacht for an Arizler. Yeah, but if I'm honest, would I like to be watching TikToks? No. I actually never downloaded TikTok on my phone for that reason. Because I would really rather not be watching TikTok. <laughs> it brings me no joy. brings me no joy when someone sends me a TikTok and I have to open up actual TikTok. You're so bow bow. You're so bibu tax. I just want to be your Shiori.
be scrolling all day if you had TikTok. Exactly. Like, that's one of the reasons even... I, I used to have Instagram on my phone because I like looking at all the, like, the pretty, the pretty pictures that people would take. The aesthetic, like, timelines, feeds and stuff was just so gorgeous to look at. But then I was like, mm, you know, I'm spending so much time on this app. <laughs> and it would be like a, a, a thing. Like, I'd go to YouTube, I'd go to Twitter, I'd go to Instagram, I'd go to Facebook, repeat, all of it, like, just going through... Like, all of these different apps just to, like, see things. Like, posts that I didn't really actually care about. <laughs> you know? Like, in the long run that I'm like, oh, I'm not really interested. So I'm like, okay. I need to, I need to uninstall Instagram. <laughs> I need to uninstall uh, Twitter. But I can't uninstall, sadly, Twitter. Um, sadly, I need it for work. But because of that, you guys can also see that I might have a Twitter problem. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of a Twitter problem. That's a lot of fish. He doesn't like the smell. Now for the winner of this year's ice fishing competition. Nerissa with five big slimy fish. How did I beat Willy? Here's your prize. Enjoy. How did I beat Willy? I don't understand. I'm genuinely asking. That's this year's size festival. Thanks for coming, everyone. Now let's release these poor fish. Fresh fish don't smell, though. Um... I think you're kind of right, actually. Does it give me anything? An off day for Willy. Right? I was like, for sure, there's no chance that I'm going to win this. Somehow, I did. Wait, this is bait? Huh. Miigeru, thank you for the, uh, supa. Ugh. Money, 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 money. Are you a year in the game? I'm still on year one, but we're just about, uh, I mean, we're not quite halfway through this month yet. <clears throat> Oops. How many years does this game have? It's endless. It keeps going. Until you're done. Oh good, we can buy a goat. Oh, please don't tell me that's empty. It might be though. But like also like no way, right? Eh, why didn't you guys eat? First year is easy to win the festival. Oh, I see. Not hard. 65 years. I usually feel like I can play these games for like five or so years in game before like I really just can't do it anymore. But Stardew, admittedly, I think I only made it to the year that your grandpa comes and says hello. Because otherwise it just kind of got like too monot monotonous at that point where I was just like, oh, I can't keep doing this. But admittedly also at the time, 
I was not quite good at the game. I'm still not good at the game, but maybe I'll eventually figure it out. <laughs> maybe I'll get lucky. I had bait on my fishing rod. Out of ammo. Alert, alert, spoiler. It's not really a spoiler. It literally says he will if you go over to the area that's always available on your farm. What do you mean? I've played six years in real life. <sighs> nice. 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 I'm finding so many books this winter season. Some backstories of characters in the game are rather depressing. But that's what I like about games like this. I feel like the thing I love, love, love about Stardew is the fact that it reminds me of one of my favorite Harvest Moon uh, Story of Season games, which is Harvest Moon 64. That game... I played legitimately for a whole summer. I would wake up, I would turn on Harvest Moon 64, and I would play and play and play and play. And there's a lot of characters in there that are similar in which, like, they're, like, sad. They're, like, pretty, pretty fucking sad characters, to be completely honest. Um, like, their lives aren't great. They have problems, like, pretty deep problems, too. Like, it's not painted in, like, a super duper dark light. It's just painted in a normal light. Because, I mean, often in real life, with those sorts of situations, that's how it is, too. It's a bad Harvest Moon game? I highly disagree. I had so much fun with that game. No, no Harvest Moon game ever really compared for me after, except for Animal Parade. And, uh, a wonderful life. I wasn't really into the DS ones, though. Yes. Are we friends yet? Linus loves me. Elliot almost loves me. Shane is now my boyfriend. Demetrius hates me because I exposed him for being a bitch to his daughter. Robin likes me decently enough. The, uh, Wizard, I have three hearts with. Nice. Now that we have Stray of Seasons and Harvest Moon reminds me of... Yeah. I don't know. I'm still, I'm still kind of upset at that situation for the series for losing its name. Like, that, that's really dumb. Not of the company, obviously. But, like, of the company who took that. Natsume. Like, how could you do this? <laughs> it just doesn't make sense to me. I wanted to buy stuff from Marnie today, but her shop's not open. Copyright do be like that. Yeah, but if you're the licensor, I just don't see how you could go through and be like, we own the English title of this, and you can never use it again in the West. Like, that's just crazy to me. He just goes to the grocery store. He's so cool. She likes to stay indoors, she says, sitting on a bridge in the snow. Is her, uh, 64 and Friends of Mineral Town the same? No. They're completely different games. But, uh... I'll be honest in saying... I've never played Friends of Mineral Town, though I know that it's incredibly popular. But personally, it's just not to my particular interests. I don't 
don't know. I, I never was too, too crazy about when they reused all the characters, but then, like, changed their personalities and backstories. Like, on one hand, I got it, but on the other hand, I was like, eh, what do you mean Rick and Anne are sister and brother now? Like, he was their cousin. What do you mean that Grey is no longer related to Anne, and instead of working on a farm when he literally wears a hat that says horse on it, what do you mean he now works at the blacksmith's? Like, I, I don't know. I didn't really appreciate the reuse of characters. I wish if they were going to do that, they would have just kept them in the same situations, rather than, again, putting someone with a, a hat that literally says horse into a different situation. <laughs> like, I don't know! It just didn't make sense to me! Yeah, I was like, the retcon was so real. Yeah, what in the parallel universe? Uh, but like god do I love those characters. I would like to play Friends of Mineral Town. I actually I did buy the remake. Re yeah, the whole remake that they did. But I wasn't terribly crazy about the redesigns. I just feel like not they're not bad. The characters all look great, but I feel like the characters already looked so iconic after having been around for so long you know like these characters had like very established looks and like appearances that it just didn't to me i didn't understand why they felt the desire to redesign them yeah and they eventually took away rival marriages and i just i feel like the games that's one thing that i really i know they never will because people make mods for it but like I'll just never, I, I'll never understand why, why not, you know? I, it's one of the things that I loved most about Animal Parade. Animal Parade, if you look up that game, every single couple can get married. You can even marry two options that never get married to each other, so it's not like you're ruining any, any kid combinations if that's something you're worried about. But like, oh my god. They all have kids. They all have, like, their own model, their own build that's unique to the child. Your kid can come out actually looking like how you design your character, but with, like, your spouse's hair color. You can marry the Harvest King. They add, they add a Harvest King instead of just having the Harvest Goddess. So if you're sitting there and you're like, oh, I want a sexy god to marry, but I don't want to marry the Harvest Goddess because she's busy doing goddess things. You can go and, at the end of the game, you can marry the Harvest King. Harvest King sounds cool. He was hot. They- they cooked for absolutely no reason. And then they never brought him back. <laughs> they introduced him for one game, and then they said, that's enough of that guy. And I think that's the funniest part. And he was hot for no reason. He had no business. No business coming in being like that. He will not be forgiven. <laughs> Doo -doo. Eh? Five ore. What did I suddenly click on? Okay. Oh, it's getting late. But, oh my god, actually, for those of you who have played... For those of you who have played, you probably don't remember. In Story of Seasons... Uh, or it's, it's still Harvest Moon is what it was released as in the West. Animal Parade. Okay, I need you to know... I need you to know the best romanceable option if you ever play that game. No questions asked is a wizard. Oh my god, I I went in the game intending to marry Chase because I'd married him in Tree of Tranquility. And I just I was in love with him and I was like, yeah, yeah, that's it. I I like this character. I love that he cooks. He just he appeals to me specifically cuz he is is he starts a little soon then he really warms up to you. And I just was like, this is a great character. But then, 
unexpectedly and not even on purpose, I start befriending. I start befriending the wizard. And suddenly, I'm head over heels in love and obsessed with this guy. <laughs> this- this man in- in my Story of Seasons game. Ah, uh, what the fuck? Where am I, guys? Where did I just come? Where am I? I don't remember this. I feel like I didn't explore here lots. Can I go down? Is this like one level? Where am I? Yeah, why are there dead beats? Calliope Mori, explain. Hey, prismatic shard, let's go. Don't worry, just keep going. Can I go down? Or does it only go deeper? It's where you get the golden scythe. Do you have plans for Valentine's Day? I'm streaming Valentine's Day. Uh, what the fuck? Where am I? Huh? I was like, oh, this will be a fun a adventure. I'll, I'll go on a little adventure real quick. It's, it's probably like just like the other mine. But maybe it's just like slightly deeper. I was wrong. I'm gonna die. Bro! Okay, let's eat something real quick before I literally die. Vegetable medley? That sounds like what I just ate. Yeah, why am I literally fighting a skeleton army? What's going on? Bro, there's so many of them. There's not even any, like, good ore. Maybe I should have made this a day trip. I didn't realize... I didn't know what this was, but I didn't realize it was going to be whatever this is. Do I have enough time? For whatever it is I've just signed up for? Why do some of them die in like three hits and then some of them just like refuse to die? Okay. We found something. Hey. You received a golden. Does this mean I can replace this one? What do I do with the scythe that I had? Thanks, Kelly. I stole Callie's scythe. Use the statue to exit. Well, it's too late now. I went the wrong way. <laughs> it's getting late. Oh! Where did I enter? Hello? Bros. There it is. Can't go to the old one. Just put it in a chest. That sucks. <sighs> We're running. I 
have to give it to Gunther now. I got lucky enough to find another one, and then I just have to give it to the guy. What if I don't want to give it to Gunther? Hey, 3,000 Dolores. Thanks, Robin. Yeah, we're rich, guys. Do you see this? We're rich. That's a seed. I wonder how much I can sell it for. Seven. What did I run out of? Fiber. Fiber, you bitch. Mm. You're not cold? No. I mean, actually, yeah, I am a little cold if we're being for real right now. I should probably put on my jacket. But I don't want to. <sighs> Oof! My neck cracked. Well, that's nice, though, at least. Get a blanket? Um, I have a robe. For when I'm getting cold. Thank you very much. Are you EP Risa? I'm always EP. That's my secret. I think someone told me last time that your animals get annoyed if the thing is open during the winter. But they're not annoyed at all. They don't care, in fact. They don't give a shit. Yeah, but I, I prefer robes if I'm going to be wearing something. Because it's like, I realize blankets don't cover my arms and keep them warm the way that I need them to. You know what I mean? No heater. I have a heater. But obviously, like, heaters are pretty expensive to run. So I'd prefer... <sighs> I prefer not to run heaters all day. So I already ran it for an hour earlier this morning when I was cold. I'm just still cold now because I'm a widow baby. I actually, in times like this, I really wish I had like bought a Snuggie when they were like a thing that people cared about. <laughs> I just think it would have been funny. Okay. Look at that. We've got a golden bucket, a golden pickaxe, and another gold thing. Heater in the coop? Oh, I'm talking about in real life. My animals in the coop are fine. I just burn a jailbird. I don't want to do that. Excuse me? It's locked. Hmm. Please. Jazz just does not like me at all. No matter how much time passes. Purchase animals. We can get a goat. It's $4,000. Snow Tomo. Ah, that's kind of cute. Snow Tomo, my snow friend. 
That's so cute. We got the goat. The goat, you guys. I will get this for the chickens. Do the penguin strat. Everyone huddles up. He. <laughs> I offer myself to be the kindling of the fire that keeps you warm. Please, no one needs... To, to keep me warm. I, I'm good, okay? <laughs> Please, I promise. It's fine. Okay. How do I turn it on? I don't want to eat the duck egg. Does it just, like, turn itself on automatically? I don't know. Yay! Heaters! Hum, hum, hum. It's on by default? Okay, cool. Even in the summertime? I'm kidding. I'm sorry. Fire, fire, start the fire. Does Shane still work at Joja Mart at this point? I don't remember. <sighs> for the keep Nerissa warm <laughs> Thank you for the super loust. Woo! 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 You know, I would kill for some hot chocolate, actually. Anyone would like to give me some hot chalky milk? Hot chalky, hot chalky, hot chalky. I'll be so happy. Heater fun. I have a heater. Thank you, though. Thank you, Reese's missing horn. Hey, are we friends? I don't think so. Wait, you can like super chats now? Yes, to spare. It's a nice change, isn't it? <sighs> hmm. Okay, let's see. So, uh, if we want to get the deluxe barn, 550 wood, 300 stone, 250 G. We definitely need this at some point, but not right now. Uh, the deluxe coop is also going to be pretty important. I think we have enough for this at home. But right now, what I would like to do is upgrade my house. Uh, maybe I'll do it tomorrow so we just have a little bit more money. That seems good to me. I don't know if I have anything that Demetrius is going to like. I feel like Robin will like anything I give her. Oh no! Robin, I'm sorry! <laughs> oh, this is terrible. Robin, I can't believe you. You're such a nice person usually. What do you mean you don't like Holly? You like earth crystals? I've already given him two gifts, apparently. <sighs> do, 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 do. Holly berries are poisonous. Well, how was I supposed to know that? Daku, thank you for the supa. You can have some chocolate if you'll be my valentine. <gasps> Aren't I like the communal valentine? I'm literally spending valentine's day with you guys. Garl plays, thank you for the supa. 
<laughs> Brought some hot chocolate for Nerissa and all his jailbirds. Here you go. Aww. <laughs> Ooh. I need to find Elliot. I can't seem to find him these days. It's making me sad. But it's not like I can even get married to him till spring anyway. Because it won't rain in the winter. Unless, like, there's a miracle and I don't think that happens. Oh, the signs of a breakup. Don't say that! <laughs> How can you say something so cruel? Pretty positive he's not here, but just... Quick sweep. Or you use a rain charm, but can it even rain in the winter? I didn't know that that worked in the winter time. <sighs> it a 10k to Mama Risa to really? No way. Do you like crabs? Please say yes. Uh, he seemed... He seemed not... Like he hated it, but he also didn't seem like he like loved it. You know what I mean? It's fine. It's whatever. Let's date with Mama Risa. Leave my mother alone. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, I'm really close. I feel like she'd like Holly. Yeah, see? Leah's good. A good girl. She said, that's so nice of you. Look at you being so kind as to give me something that you took time out of your long, difficult day to, to pick up. <laughs> Our Kamiyoshi is coming, Mama Risa. Your Kamiyoshi. Well, you know who my mom's Kamiyoshi is? Me. If we can't have your mom or sisters, can we have your brother? I mean, you can try. I, I can't tell you how that'll go. But I'm not gonna stop you if that's what you want. You know? Bibu, I'm her- I'm her Kamiyoshi, but she also loves Bibu. Why are you guys trying to take my mother from me? She wants to steal Bibu, but I'm still her favorite. Don't don't do me like this, Jailbirds. <laughs> uh, uh. One sec. My hair is tangled. It was uncomfortable. I'd rather have you instead. See, that's loyalty. I love loyal men, Jailbirds. And women. For all those sexy ladies in chat. Where you at? <laughs> I love cutting down trees. But then I get annoyed that they're not grown back by the next day. And I don't know what to do with myself. Ugh. 
Hi, Corteo. Thank you for the super. It's 14th here, so happy Valentine's Day and lots of love to you. I offer you my heart made of chocolate. Well, I love chocolate. <sighs> there are no girls on the internet, but there are literally girls. I'm a girl. Women, where are you? I see some of you already. Oh my god, wait, did you guys hear? You guys know the person I've been calling CJ this whole time this whole time? Apparently their name is actually just read as Siege. And I I died. I died when I found that out. That was so embarrassing. Yeah, see, so Claire's a girl. Rarely Rain's a girl. Marble Fox. Mm-hmm. We've got female viewers. <laughs> Can you prove that? Yeah, I've looked at my analytics. There are women here. There are men and women. We unite together. You guys unite together as the jailbirds. <laughs> Girls and boys alike can all like Nerissa Ravencroft. Thank you very much. Nerissa, don't dox your female fans. They're fine. So, is chat single? <laughs> oh, that's great. That's wonderful. Yeah, date, date each other, jailbirds. Then you can combine. That way when I do a merch drop, you can like each buy like half of it and then when you move in with each other uh then you can make a giant nerissa shrine you know think of how wonderful that would be <laughs> i'm so sorry for this conversation by the way I'll pass. Wow! Okay. I want to have the most extensive shrine of myself. A 5,000! I'm already married, though. Okay, Naf. Make your partner a fan of me, too. <laughs> I'm kidding. By the way, in case anyone's not getting that I'm joking around. Just so we're clear. Andals, thank you for the supa. Could I trouble you birdies for eh, a birthday greeting? Andals, happy birthday! Happy birthday to you. I hope you are having a, a very, very nice birthday. Also, Mayazumi, thank you for the supa. Let's go check on our new baby. <laughs> I kind of hate that the the milk can be purple star, but then when you put it in here, it doesn't matter. It goes down to gold star milk. I think that's unfair. I didn't think this through. Hmm. Why does my duck still not really like me? I'm just asking the real questions here. Mm. Eh. One sec. I need to I need to do something real quick. Okay, it's in the process. Tsun Tsun. Tsun Tsun. I'm not Tsun Tsun. Wah. <laughs> Fwak! I can't get over that they named that penguin thing guy 
walk. Every time I think about it, I think it is so fucking funny that they would do that. Like, they knew, right? They, they knew what they were doing. That was intentional, right? Because, yeah, what the fuck? It's a duck, not a penguin? Uh, yeah, duck penguin thing. I don't know. It's like a- it's a thing. It's a bird. One of those birds. That's me doing a lift trail. I've been getting better at them now that I have to do them in my voice lessons. <laughs> But I was actually really fucking terrible at them. Oop, 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 oop. I did not get lucky with the shrimp drop. So we are going to have to, or the lobster drop, excuse me. We did get a shrimp, which is why I misspoke. Let's go see Elliot. So I don't think I've given him two gifts. Yep. You notice that it's the smell of the sea. Whenever I smell the sea, it reminds me of my youth. The ocean really impressed me as a child. Do you love me yet? He does. <gasps> a boat. Hey. Look, I fixed up that old rowboat that's been sitting by the house. Pretty nice, huh? Nerissa, would you do the, me, me the honor of joining me for a, her maiden voyage? Yes. What if you say no to this? So, my book's been out for a while now. It's not a bestseller or anything, but it's been getting some good reviews from critics. And I really couldn't have finished it without your moral support. Actually, that's not true at all. I would have finished it either way. But I am grateful that you believed in me, in my vision, and well... Um, Nerissa, how do I say this? Well, we've been friends for a while now, but I'm... I'm not sure if I feel that way about you anymore. What? No, I'm not saying I want to cut all ties with you. In fact, quite the opposite. Let's see, how do I put this? For once, I'm at a loss for words. <gasps> Nerissa, you're trembling. I'm happy. So am I. He kissed me unexpectedly. Uh-oh, the vibration from your body has caught the attention of a crimson fish. We'd better get out of here, what? Look at the valley from here. It finally looks like home. <gasps> oh, he's cute. Cute, cute, cute. <sighs> what a day. Yeah, the vibration from your body. That sounds so lewd. Okay, so we're not married yet, chat. Will his score deteriorate if I stop talking to him at this point to get my relationship statuses up with other people around the town? Someone tell me. No, okay. So unless I marry him, he'll stay maxed, is what you're saying. It drops very slowly. Uh, isn't that cheating? No. <laughs> Not if you have a lucky rabbit's foot on you at the right time. I mean, of course, I have to talk to him still, but... Daivena, thank you very much for the soup, uh... <laughs> Marnie, I don't care what you have to say, I'm sorry. Do, do, do. <laughs> I 
She still hates me. After all this time. It's not as bad as these three, though. She has one heart. She just still doesn't really like me all that much. I still haven't found a damn diamond. Are you kidding me? I need my wood. I don't think I need stone, but I'm gonna... Is that all my wood? Yes, okay, 800. So I thank you for the super. Happy Valentine's Day. Second raid. <gasps> Kiwawa! Takanashi Kiwawa! I miss you. Welcome back. Thank you for the raid. Hello, KFP. We are playing Stardew Valley solo version. Hello, b -b -b wife. <laughs> Why you say it like that? I'm about to get a kitchen. Can you believe it? I'm about to get a kitchen. Did you miss me? Of course I missed you. Why wouldn't I have missed you? You're so easily missable. I missed you the second I left your house. Do I have anything I can give this guy? Hmm. I don't think so. <sighs> oh, I've given him two gifts. Perfect. Yeah, I missed you. I missed you the moment I had to leave you at the airport. And technically, I missed you before that, too. Because I, as soon as we left your house, I was like, Oh, I'm really not, not going to be able to come back here, huh? Ooh. But I thought you were tired of me. I was like, she probably wants me to leave her the fuck alone for a bit. <laughs> She's probably like, damn. Nerissa. Needs to needs to give me some space, but apparently not. I miss you. I miss you too. I liked when we'd have conversations while you were on break. I felt very special. I was like, oh, even though she's on break, she's still taking time to talk to me. The love of my life. Should I cut down these trees? Probably. So cute. Takanashi Kiwawa is cute. I, I want to plant different trees here probably later. Lucky Risa. I am lucky. I'm literally winning. <laughs> she didn't see it. I, what did I miss? Eh? Wait. I'm scrolling up. Did I miss a message from you? You were the only one from Hollow I talked to on my break. Eh! Home Tony! Are you serious? Home <laughs> Tony! Ah! Oh! Thank you. <laughs> No, I'll cry. You just can't tell shit like that to me. <laughs> I figured you were talking to everybody. Not just me. Wow. <laughs> I'm small. Nah. Ah. Oh, there's a little cat outside my door. Get in here, little man. He's walking in. My cat. Wah. My cat returned. I thought it was smoothie. No, it's just my loud little man. Bro, what can I do for you? He's he's sniffing the air vent. Kiara, what time is it for you? Yeah, he 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 meows over everything. I had to, I had to tell my sister to stop pawning him off on me. Midnight. Oh my god. I hope you sleep well when you sleep. 
But he like, sometimes he'll sleep with me and he's a really good sleeper when he wants to be. And some nights he will just stand at the foot of my bed for no reason and meow and he has food. The, the toilet is clean. You know, he has everything he could need. He has toys, he has water, but he'll come over and be like, meow. <laughs> he just, he's a very, he's a baby. My baby. I miss your cats though, Kiata. <laughs> Did I tell you I was looking into locally adopting a Cheeto, a Cheeto dusted cat like you have? And they like, they told me to come back when I actually was ready to adopt because I was trying to see if I qualified. And they were like, come back when it's closer to the time you actually want to adopt. Yeah, Cheeto and radioactive ones, yeah. So I still need to look into the radioactive ones, but th they're a bit more difficult. Where the hell did you find a radioactive cat? The Cheeto ones were easy. Easy peasy. Secret note. <laughs> yeah, keep 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 your secrets. Okay, keep your seg secrets. I can't talk today apparently. Wah. Wah. I don't think I really had anything. Kiara's laughing at you. I bet she is. I would laugh at me too. Ah, uh, what the fuck is happening? Huh? Huh? Can someone just tell me? What? Huh? <laughs> what do you mean? It's right there. What is? Just tell me where the treasure is. Wood pile. It's a puzzle, guys. I'm no good at puzzles. Is YouTube being weird? Try giving it a refresh because it's fine on my side right now. Ugh. Okay. Behind Lewis's house? Are you sure? I don't know about that. Um, Lewis's backyard. Oh, but you won't like it. Oh, wait. I know what this is. I remember. I think. I think I might remember what this is. See blue house, use brain. No. It's not... There's not enough... Uh, it, it doesn't tell me enough of what I need to do. So Lewis's backyard... I joined KFP and now flip burgers for your Oshi, as you should. Solid gold Lewis! Never mind. This is not what I thought it was. I'll take it though. Hi! You're my other boyfriend. Hey, wait, that's the mayor! <laughs> that's, that's the mayor! Yeah. Look at my two boyfriends. Ha 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 ha. It's where the money for the community center. <gasps> You know, you're probably absolutely correct. 
You excited for the upcoming update? Yes. Better get that rabbit's foot. Hey, you only get that thing to happen if... If you are dating... Everyone. You have to be dating every single guy for that cutscene to happen. I have plenty of time. Okay, guys, here's the real question. How much can I sell the Lewis statue for? How much does it cost if I sell it? Is it better to keep it or is it better to just sell it if I can sell it? What do I do? I'm asking genuinely. Genuine answers only, please. I don't think you can sell it. You're right. Well, what do I do with it then? <sighs> Just better talk to Lewis about it. Sell it despite the it's solid gold. It has to be worth, right? Why can't I sell it? That's just unfair. I wonder what Driftwood will make. Oh, okay. How do I bully him with it? How do I bully him with a gold statue? Can't I just like smelt it down? Put it in the city. Okay. Middle of town square, anyone? This is what Lewis thinks of himself. If only I had a Marnie statue made of gold, I would put it right next to that. <laughs> Let the people see where their taxes are going. Let's see. What? Hardwood? Or just regular wood? Naruhodo. Oops. Eh? Eh? Oh. I have them all in my inventory, that's why. Alright, bedtime. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick moment. I'm gonna go have an idol meeting real quick. I'll be back in a jiffy. Uh, wait here on day 12 of winter, year one. I'll pause the game and then uh, you guys wait patiently and I'll be right back.
Risa Doko? Risa Doko? You know, I thought that we had only been playing for like maybe an hour and a half. Turns out it's been three hours. <laughs> hey, Robin. I'm going to give you this advice because I like you and I want you to stay in Pelican Town. If there comes a day that you want to ask for someone's hand in marriage, you'll need to give them a mermaid pendant. Don't worry, everyone in Pelican Town understands the significance of the amulet. It's an ancient tradition in this region. Good luck, you know? Do you guys want to hear the dumbest shit I'm ever going to tell you? Um, eh. Void Essence. Uh... So, Harvest Moon has the same concept, which is where Stardew Valley got it from, where in order to propose, you had to get a blue feather, okay? So, it was it was absolutely essential that if you wanted to get married, you needed to get the blue feather, you know? Like it, it was not it was not an ask. It was absolutely something you had to do. So, I thought that that was a real thing and for a long time I was very much hoping that I one day would get a blue feather <laughs> to get proposed to isn't that just aren't I just the cringest thing you've ever heard like I don't even know what's wrong with me Like, cause clearly, clearly something is wrong. Uh, oh. My dog barking. Can you guys let me collect hay? Thank you. But yeah, so then, you know, uh, Be So Lovely, they make amazing, amazing, like, anime and, like, some game and even, like, some VTuber-inspired jewelry. It's so beautiful. I own some pieces by them. Uh, I, I hope... And pray one day, they probably never will, but I hope and pray one day that Be So Lovely will make a, um, a blue feather ring. <laughs> a blue feather inspired engagement ring. Eh. I think my dog wants to come upstairs. Look who has blue feathers now. <laughs> I see you. Let me, sorry, she's really gonna annoy me if she's sitting out there. Bitching and moaning. I'm gonna quick let her go where she needs to go. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Some Harvest Moon couple must have made it happen already. Right? But, like, I haven't really seen much of them. And I haven't really seen many that, like, look nice. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like the ones that I have seen are just kind of, like, mid- if you'd refrain from placing my private belongings in town for all to see, I'm very displeased. Take this money and never speak of my project to anyone. Only 750 G. I don't think that was an efficient way to bully him. I feel like he didn't learn anything. <sighs> Can I get that back? How do I get it back? From his room? I don't think me and Lewis are close like that. I don't know though, to be fair. Apparently I have three hearts with Lewis. Yeah, pocket change for hush money. What if I just keep placing it in the town square? Will he just keep giving me money? Um. Independent, thank you for the super. Came all the way in the snow just to see me. Guess that makes sense. Bitch. Hello, hello. Oh, I can't. I can't take it from. 
Oh my god, I can. What what happened here? Why is there a rotten plant there? That's where we put this this. Why? Wandering merchant, thank you guys. My lifesavers. He turns into it. He broke. It's a cursed item. I would believe that. <laughs> yeah, we've been screaming for a while. I've noticed. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, to make you feel ignored. And that's why I appreciate your persistence. Damn, she really hates me. She really hates me. She does not want to hand it over. She's like, you're going to get a goat or you're going to plant a tree. You have no other options. Buy iridium? Did she have iridium or am I crazy? I don't think she did. Ugh, we've been getting really unlucky though. We got really lucky getting some items from her. But you want me to believe no one in this is in this town sells fucking wine? Yeah. Yeah, man doesn't seem to like yams terribly. You can make wine. I know I can, but not quite yet. I don't have the machine. I need my basement first. Hi, Sam. Trying to do a kickflip. Um. It is the wait. What's the end game meta for for money? I missed something. I only need a keg for wine making. Yeah, but I want I want to get a whole basement and fill it with kegs. You know, a whole basement fill with kegs. You know. And then we'll be good to go. Those are casks you were thinking of? Huh? Maybe. I don't know. It's been a while. It's been a while. Be nice. Yeah, same difference. The basement wasn't for jailbirds. No. You guys get to live in the living room. She's such a mean little girl. Aren't you friends with Linus? He lives in a tent up in the mountains. The poor guy is actually really nice. Just a little odd. Time to dig in the garbage. You know what time it is. I love how it makes sense from a certain standpoint that, like, from this position, no one would see that from the back of his house. But, like, in if in real life, if you were standing right here, you would have seen the Golden Mare Lewis. So, in a way, he already kind of had it displayed. <laughs> I 
I don't I don't see how that's my fault, you know? He really had it out the whole time. Anyway. <laughs> Private little eatery room. Gorgeous. I'm not friends with Gus. I forgot. Probably have those tall home improvement fences to prevent people. You might be onto something with that. That seems like the correct assumption. Ugh. Hmm. Get in here. So I can get out of here. I need to find Shane. Oh. And give him a pizza. I did not read what he just wrote. Hi, Shane. I know it's your favorite. Hi, Mayor Lewis. Do you not see what's on display? That's kind of sad that no one says anything about it. It'd be kind of fun if they gave them unique dialogue when you put it out. And they notice it. <laughs> and they're like, um, I would not have thought that of him. You know? I have to brush my hair daily or else it'll clump into messy knots. It's a lot of work. He won't shave his hair because he is too vain. And that's a mood. Marnie. Don't fuck with Louis. He's a bitch. Yeah, like, they just don't care about, like, what he's been doing with the taxes. They don't care about anything. Marnie is getting the tattoo. I don't think she is. I'm gonna be honest. I feel like she's getting the short end of the stick. Because that man is a bitch. Eh. We can't put rotten plant in there. <sighs> I wonder how long until I can milk my goat. I have a goat cheese to make. Sunrisa is too young to produce milk. But I have two cheese makers. Which is nice.
I need to buy more egg mayonnaise producer things, though. These are my... my KFP that I have stolen to work my farms. For those of you who are still there, by the way. Kiata's probably gone to sleep, which is for the better. Do, 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 do. We almost have... Uh, we almost have our thing. Yeah, Eepy. Eepy Kiwawa. I know she must be Eepy because I'm Eepy. <laughs> Can I talk to her while she's working on my house? My house will be ready tomorrow. Nice. Did I ever sell the tea trees that I made? What level of the mines do I have to go down to again to get like really good fiber? Please direct me. I don't remember. 20 to 30? Okay. Um, uh, 100? And 5 and so on. Okay. Good to know. If you had a greenhouse, you could grow some. Oh, that's great. Thanks for that advice. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> Thanks, though. You're so helpful. You're so helpful suggesting I get a greenhouse. As if I'm not desperately trying to finish off the, the area. Thanks. So helpful. <laughs> I'm just teasing, by the way. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Louis. Are you really trying though? Excuse me, you've seen our community center. We literally have one more item for the kitchen area. And then we have different things for here, but a lot of those are harder to do. So we're not worrying about them too, too much. <sighs> hmm. Hi, Linus. Oh, you like coral? Oh, I don't need to give him a gift. What? How much do you like me, Demetrius? I'm not sure. We don't really have any good easy gifts to give him this time of year that I know of. So we're kind of in this slight limbo where I feel like we can't really get his hearts to go up super fast. 
Which isn't to say that they're going up like slowly or anything. But like, it's also just not going up fast, you know? Let's go to the mines. You guys said 20 through 30. I'll go to 25. This wasn't a good floor. Let's just try 20. Was that a hundred too? Uh, <sighs> let's try a hundred. Uh, cause we need fiber. Mm. Oh. Mm. I'm not strong enough for this slime. Maybe I'll get lucky though today and we'll find a diamond. You never know, right? This area doesn't look particularly large. We go down. Wizard needs a void essence. Okay, well, if I find any void essence, then it's his. Simple. Ah, oh, my health. Please, I literally just want... To go down. Do I have anything to even eat apart from a yam? And some like algae. I have some forest snacks. And bread. Damn, those things hit hard. Guys, I am fucking dying. Like, my energy is just fine. I should be able to hit him through right here. It's not fair that they don't let me hit him through there, actually. I want more of what I'm looking for. Which is literally just fiber. Where can I find some fiber? 
looking for fiber in the mines below hoping to find some but not having any luck it's 6 p.m and i can't find any i found seven in my run so far gone down four floors no luck at all sometimes that's how it is whatever <laughs> uh. hello my name is narissa fibercroft Fiber on the next level. Uh, this little lady is definitely trying to get into my room. I'm gonna need to let her in. Come on. Stop scratching at the carpet. Please let me down. Let me go down. Wow. That was so much fiber. <laughs> oh. That was so much fiber, you guys. That was, like, none. What is this luck I have? It's like anti-luck. It's like no luck, actually. Bro, what? Eat mushroom. I only have these mushrooms. Do aren't they poisonous? Excuse me. I wasn't aware I could just eat the red mushrooms. You asked for fiber, not a lot. Uh, I, I thought it was obvious. Uh, I need to get the fuck out of here. We'll go down here. And then we'll go back up. We'll leave the mine. Um, Let's go bus stop. And let's go home. There were some plants there. Look at my health. I've got no more food. Like, that's how I die. Yeah, one HP and a dream. That's literally where I am at right now. Like, do not encourage my death. I don't need to get wiped in fucking Stardew Valley. Do do combat up slime egg press. We've upgraded the house successfully. <gasps> okay. So now we just need to unlock recipes. That is so cute. Okay, let's read this. Get it out of my inventory. Uh, a page from someone's diary. There are only a few older bachelors in town and none of them are perfect. Harvey's really anxious and weak, but I know he makes a loyal and devoted husband. Or he would make a loyal and devoted husband. Elliot is a bit foppish and melodramatic, but he does have a nice chin. He likes crab cakes and pomegranates. Shane is messy and antisocial, but I think his gruff exterior exterior is a defense mechanism insinuated uh, insulating his softness from the world he likes beer pizza and pepper poppers shane also likes eggs <laughs> the traveling merchant fleet will dock at pelican town <gasps> 
Nice. Bro. Yeah, eggs are high protein. Very nice. I understand. Me so I love you. My cat. so sleepy are you old enough to give milk no a baby I like this theme music. Thank you for the 10 gifted memberships to the community. Triple J 26. We can get rid of the we can get rid of all of this today. I this one's tied with a blue rope. I don't know if we've I think we've already tied this turn this one in. Considering it doesn't tell me to bring it to Gunther, so we can probably just sell it. The door scroll. Okay. Last chance. Kind of, almost. The Muzumaru. I don't know what I'm looking at. But yet again, she had nothing of interest! Sucks. Sucks! How do I get a blue chicken? Can I get one later in the game? Okay, Shane has one heart left. We have two heart, uh, two things. So maybe if we catch him later, we can give him a pizza. And if we give him two this week, maybe we'll get lucky and reach his stuff. It will be randomly hatched or be selected when you buy chickens. Oh, so at any point I have a chance to get... Sorry, Jody. I've... I've... So what you're saying is that basically I have any opportunity to get one. Beer is cheaper. I don't care. Another rotten plant. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mm. You need to have seen the event and you can talk to Marnie till you see the blue chicken at the top. Oh, okay, well, I saw the event with him. Um, with... I, I, I romanced Shane this far.
I used to hit cancel when buying chickens at Marnie's until it's to select a barn for your blue chicken. Oh, that's smart. Hi. Yeah, I saw him surrounded by chickens. What will Elliot think? Nothing. He's fine. <laughs> it's just for the blue chickens, Elliot. You don't understand. Look, I already told you guys before, in my very ever first playthrough of this game, I literally, I literally romanced every single person in this game that was romanceable all the way to the max. Every single one. All the guys, all the girls. All of them. Okay. Purchase animals, chicken. Brown chicken. White chicken. White chicken. Brown chicken. Blue chicken. <laughs> Geppel. Lozy. Snalbert. Take me to Snalbert. Woo! Let's go! Little birdie. You didn't name it Jailbird. That's because you're the Jailbirds. Do you want to be Snailbert? Hmm? Oh, so cute! The baby! Seems curious, but a little cautious. She's getting used to the new home. Ah, oh, blue chicken. I think I have enough. Um, I can sell these. I don't need them. I can sell this. I don't need it. I do need the iridium. I don't need this. Um, I think I have enough for the next barn upgrade. Uh, or I need to pick either the barn, which I want to do because I know I need pigs. I really want pigs. Um, but I also really want something else. Uh, which is what it, what do I want, actually? I don't know. What am I trying to say? I don't know. Oh, shit. That's right. We have a lot of stuff we have to do today. We need to go and try to get these done. Then we need to go see the wizard. Then I want to go try to sell... You want to avoid chickens? How do I get avoid chicken? I want to get a dinosaur, but I never have luck finding dinosaur eggs. The one time I found one, I gave it immediately to the guy. So I didn't realize, like, I didn't think about the fact because I didn't have an upgraded barn yet because it was so early in my gameplay. And I just never found one again. You need a big coop. Where do I get void eggs? Because I'm going to upgrade my coop eventually.
He who wait, who is he? Who sells void void eggs? I think I need to There's dinosaurs in this game, yeah. If you have the sewer key, I don't have the sewer key yet. How do I get the sewer key? Wait, I can't oh, oh good. It's a random 90% when big coop, I see. Um, 60 items donated to the museum? Okay. Hmm, I wonder how many I've donated. I'm not sure. I feel like I've mostly been prioritizing it though, despite my annoyance with it. You can get a dino egg from the Skull Cavern Dinos from Artifact Troves. Void eggs can from an event by Crovis in the sewers. I got one hour till my new cover comes out. Wait, give me one sec. I'm going to pin it. Give me uno momento. Oh, everything's broken. <laughs> YouTube broke one sec. One second. Um. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna pin it. Uh, pin. There we go. Is this stream going to keep going? Yeah. We're not, like, raiding into it, but... Please listen to it. <laughs> Open it up. Get ready. Yeah, we'll be doing a live watch-along. I will be pausing the game. I'll mute the sound. I will be live reacting to my cover. <laughs> but uh, once the premiere is done, we'll keep playing. Who's Bijou? You guys know who Bijou is. Get out of here with that. Mm. Pretty sure I already talked to her. Yeah, she had nothing useful. Um. She's so weird. He needs void essence, right? Yay, a reward. A squid and an amethyst. I just don't care, though. I just don't care about Clint, you know? Like, what has Clint ever done for me? Can I really not destroy these here? Give him another. Eh. Oh, he likes them as a gift. That's nice. Elliot loves me. Shane almost loves me. Oh, that's someone we need to go find before the day ends, Shane. I also need to talk to Demetrius at some point. He's our next closest target. 
The wizard does have four hearts now, as does Leah. It's going pretty well, I'd say. Wouldn't you guys say too? Double boyfriend is crazy. If I had the time and didn't want to get married basically as soon as I can, I'd probably romance everyone again just because it's fun. It's fun to get to experience all their, like, romance events. You know? Well, what about the bundles? We still need things for the bundles, but we can't really get most of them right now. Unfortunately. See, here we are not encouraging Shane's alcohol addiction. We are helping him by giving him pizza. Stop. Oh my god. Okay, well. Good news. I think Shane is pretty much almost in love with us. He won't talk to us, though. Don't you have work to do? Shut the fuck up. Alcohol goes well with pizza? I don't think alcohol goes well with anything. She's so nice. But I also just don't like alcohol. If you do, that's fine. But I just don't like it. I just don't think it tastes good. <sighs> mm. Oh my god. I hate this tabbing. I hate tabbing. I can go- I- I concur. Soju goes well with KBBQ. Soju is just good though. And I don't even really like alcohol too- like at all. But I will down soju for fun. I will admit, downing soju for fun is fun. But like, beer is disgusting. Most alcohol isn't good. Let's be completely honest. <laughs> but soju and sake, I'll fuck that up. For me. Oh, Shane gave me a pizza. Thought it'd be fun to send you a letter. I don't really know how to write, though. Here, I've enclosed a treat for you. Don't tell anyone, but I snagged it from the back room of Jojo Mart ages ago. How romantic. It's a thought that counts. Let's be honest. Thank you, Shane. Didn't know how to write me a letter. You still did it anyway. And you sent me a pizza that you've had for a long time. <laughs> you know, that's making me kind of hungry. It's making me kind of want pizza at the moment. You know? Some well-aged backroom pizza. Exactly. Well, it's fine because we're just gonna, gonna give it right back to Shane. So it's perfect, actually. You look huge. Can I really not milk you yet? <gasps> Today's the day. Today's the day, everybody. Imagine Shane stuffing an entire pizza in your mailbox. That is a very funny sight. I think it's just more awful that I can 100% see him doing that. Pizza fund, I'll take pineapple pepperoni on mine. Thank you for the super. 
I'm glad someone else... You know, I find it so funny. I made my stance on pepperoni and pineapple pizza clear upon my debut. Like, it was literally like a, a debut point for me that was something I thought was important information to add in my debut. And I still have people asking me <laughs> if pineapple on pizza, yes or no. And I'm like, huh? Of course, yes. Are you hoping I change my mind? Oh, Autumn's Bounty Pumpkin Pie. Bean Hot Pot. Make it spicy. Pineapple is the best. It is. It's so underrated because people want to be like, oh, it's gross. And I'm like, no, you just have a baby tongue palette, okay? The fact that you can't appreciate how the flavor just brings out the other flavors of the pizza, that's fine, but that's on you. That's on you. Tuna on pizza was the worst I am all. I mean, I just don't like tuna in general, like cooked. So like, I can't imagine liking it on a pizza, you know? It just doesn't seem appetizing. I tried it with Kiara and I just, I wasn't crazy about it. Not really my thing. Hmm. I wouldn't order it myself. I'll eat pineapple on pizza if it's a bit. Yeah, see, that's that's the mature thing to do. That is the mature thing to do is to say, you know, it's not my favorite, but yeah, you know, I'll eat it if it's in front of me. Sure. But so many people are just like babies about it. Sorry if it came off as rude when we first met. Love me, Shane. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Not sure how that is mature. I'm saying it's immature when they're complaining about it. Just eating something because, like, it's one thing to just say, oh, sorry, I don't really like that. It's just not my favorite. But everyone who doesn't like pineapple on pizza decides to make it such a defining personality trait of, like, oh, my God, it's the worst thing ever. It's so disgusting. I don't see how anyone could like it. And it's just, like... I think oysters seems disgusting as a concept, but I've never tried it. <laughs> so even though I don't like it, I, I can see how other people might. I'm not going to act like it's the most disgusting thing ever. Or eggs. Even more simple. Eggs. I don't like eggs in general. I just don't like them. But I'm not going to go around telling people that they, that eggs are so disgusting just because I don't like them. Like, what sense does that make? Uh, I don't- I feel like I've talked about this before, but I'll say- Eh? My crab pots are gone. I'll, I'll say it again. I- One time when I was young, I made eggs every single day for, like, a whole year. Every single morning, I would wake up, I would get two pieces of toast and two eggs, and I would eat them. And it was, like, the best thing ever at the time. I was like, oh, these are the bee's knees. It's the most amazing thing. It's the most amazing thing I've ever had. This is the most amazing thing I've ever done. I'm obsessed. And because I just overate eggs, suddenly... My body was like... The texture, actually, you hate it. You hate it. You hate the texture of eggs. And now... I'll be eating eggs... And I'll be enjoying it. And then something about the texture will get to me. And I just can't do it anymore. I don't think eggs are gross though. I think eggs are fine. I just don't particularly like them. If someone was like, oh my god, I love eggs. I wouldn't go up to them and be like, oh, fuck off. Like, I hate when people have such a strong reaction to like pepperoni on, uh, or pineapple on pizza. I'm like, how old are you? <laughs> how old are you? Enough people like this, like, clearly it's not that weird. So, I'm sorry, that's... Yeah, don't yuck people's yuck. Exactly, that's, that's number one what it boils down to. Someone likes something, you don't need to shit on it. 
to feel better about yourself. There's no superiority. I like pepperoni on pineapple because I think it's tasty. And if you don't like it, I think that's fine. Do you like caviar? I've actually never had caviar before. How do I check how many items I've donated? How do I know? How do I know how many I've sent? Count? I'm not counting them. Have you dipped fries in ice cream? Yes. it's. I actually really like to get Wendy's fries and then they're frosty. The chocolate frosty and dip them in your pause menu. Can it just tell me? I want to know how many I've given. I don't want to have to count them. Root beer float? I don't like fizzy drinks. <sighs> so I don't really like root beer. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 51, 52, 51, 52, 51, 52, 51, 52, 51, 52, 51, 52, 51, 52, 51, 52, 51, 52, 51, 52, 51, 52, 51, 52, 51, 52, 51, 52, 51, 52, 51, 52, 51, 52, 51, 52, 51, 52, 51, 52, 51, Two, two more items about. Uh, how about chili dogs? I love chili cheese dogs. I'll go feral for a chili cheese dog. Like Sonic, Sonic was on to something. I would like to get a chili cheese dog with Sonic. Ugh, Ludafisk. Don't, don't bring up Ludafisk to me. I can't, I can't do it. My grandma really loves pickled herring. And she tells me it's delicious, but I just can't bring myself to try it even. <sighs> Okay, Sonic hot dogs are the best. I've actually not really eaten at Sonic before. small pizza with any choice of topping <gasps> metal squatch you're so thank you you're sweet what is ludifisk it's like pickled fish i think i don't know i don't know i just don't like the idea of pickled meat period you know like pickled meat to me just seems like something that shouldn't exist the m night market is now open Hey, I need a fried egg, but I think that's the only thing here I can take away. So we need the goat cheese, which is probably ready. We'll finish this bundle. Then we don't have any of these, but that's okay. Um, we need a truffle fried egg maki, so we need these, these two. Aquamarine and red cabbage. Okay. Iridium fireplace. Does this do anything? It, I mean, it sounds cool, but I feel like it's just decorative, no? 
cosmetic. Okay, yeah, not worth it then. Okay, let's see. Can someone write this down? One, five, four, two, three. One, five, four, two, three. How do I interact with them? Oh, wait for the end? Okay. Empty hand? The game will literally never let me have an empty hand. Sexy mermaid lady. Oh. Oh. She's going off. All those pretty mermaids. Okay. One, five, four, three. Or one, five, four, two, three. One, five, four, two, three. A Lupini original, not bad. Lupini. She loves it because it's so mysterious. This boat's her favorite, but there's nothing going on on it. Candy canes, okay. Seasonal plants. Free coffee. I know you love those. This is old enough to see the mermaid show. Oh, I don't think anyone's around on the beach. So we'll go submarine fish. Yeah, I'll pay you a thousand. Squid. Glass shards.
Come on. Don't be mean. Can I only catch midnight squid? Uh. Gotta get those blob. Oh, yeah, there's blob fish in this game, huh? Can I just keep doing this till I don't feel like doing this? Well, I'm not getting lucky at all. Only midnight squid. Yeah, streamer luck, where are you at? Oop. Oh. Oh no, I suck. Guys, I'm bad at fishing. What the fuck? Super cucumber. Give me a blob fish. Blob. Fish. Wishing I was fishing. See, I haven't seen any benefit from my pond yet because I haven't found a fucking diamond for my stupid fish that are supposed to give me caviar. So honestly, I'm not really feeling anything particular about the fish pond. So you can tell me he's good in the fish pond, but I haven't had any benefit from it because turns out I need to find fucking diamonds. Spookfish. I need to go back. I really wanted to catch a blobfish. <sighs> uh... Oh man, I have to fucking wait. Shit. Ah, oh, fuck, man. We might pass out before we get home. Guys, I'm not paying money to get home, okay? We're running. Because running is free. Well, we didn't make any money, but I feel like I also didn't sell a lot today. Can you guys want something else that's not a diamond? <sighs> uh, 
good news is we've got goat cheese. <laughs> eh, no milk right now. Yeah, high maintenance fish for real. Give me my hay. A baby. Goats are every other day. I am gonna try to milk them every day. It's fine. Do, 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 do. I had a diamond in summer, but I still- But it shouldn't be this hard to find diamonds. want to keep one. I don't know what to do with it, admittedly. I think I need the seaweed to cook maki rolls. How much do pearls sell for? Can I put the pearl in the duplicator? It's called cavern, but you need bus, so I have a bus. Here first. Should have put a diamond in. Well, you know, I didn't have the duper by that time. Otherwise, yes, I agree. That would have been a very sound decision. Okay, got our first keg. When we're done here, we'll return to the other world. Nice. Woo! Greenhouse time. Um, fried egg. We need to make maki. We need to find a truffle. Aquamarine and red cabbage. And then these ones, which will be more hard. This this next one will be the difficult one that we spend way more time on, I feel like. I'm just not good at this. And that greenhouse is the goat. I'm so excited. Dum 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 dum. Um, I feel like you would like a mushroom. You too? It's thoughtful of me. How's it going? Three hearts left. Yeah, 30 minutes left. If you're here and you haven't heard, please check the pinned message. I have a new cover coming out soon. You'll love it. I really wish I'd get lucky and get um 
Maki from the trash cans again. I literally got it. My first... One of my, like, first streams of this, I'm pretty sure I got it in the spring. And now I just have had no such luck. Ferrum, <sighs> thank you for the supa. You can fish it out and it'll ask for something else. What if it asks for something even worse? Thank you, though. I'm gonna try. Guys, stop mentioning! <sighs> stop mentioning my yawning! Are you sure he still wants a diamond? I don't think he's going to ask for anything else. But you gave us an emote for it and everything. Yeah. And... Mm hmm. Surgeons only ask for diamonds on the first quest. Ugh. The mines are not calling. <laughs> do, 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 do. Looking forward to a good night's rest tonight. I sure hope so. I am manifesting that, yes. It would be very nice. I wish I wasn't so sleepy, though. I would like to live my life without yawning. But that is my sacrifice as God's sleepiest soldier. This isn't fair! This is a gem! I should be able to put that in there. That's not fair. That doesn't make any sense. Then there's really nothing to do with this but sell it, right? Like, is there any benefit to keeping the pearl? It's organic. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure a diamond is a loved gift if only I had one. Mm. Pearls are universally loved gifts. Well, I only have one. And it sells for a lot of money, apparently. <sighs> mm. Ooh, a pretty painting. Use it on a birthday. But I'm not like... I'm not that... Desperate, you know? To get them all like... Up. I meant Pearl Diamond is liked and not universally... Oh, I see. Nandu Hodo. 
Let me go fishing now. Please. for fighting sleepiness in your yawn stream. <laughs> I'm gonna wait here for an hour for the it to open. It's gotta open up eventually. Uh Yeah, ASMR easy content, easy content for me. Fiber, thank you for the chupa. Night work is open. Let's go. Wood slime, goat's milk, radish salad. Could you sell me a maki roll? A uh, melon, tomato, blueberry, bobby, spongle. Is there... What is the deal with this guy? Is there any benefit to buying his painting apart from just like, if you like it, you can buy it? Like, what's the benefit? Because no offense, I do not think that this guy is famous. I've never heard of him before. They don't sell Maki rolls at the saloon? No. Not that I've seen. Give me my free coffee. Yamaki is saloon rotation. Okay, I'll check. I'll check after this whole thing is over. I think I have the recipe for it. Oh, using the treasure hunter bait. I don't have any. Shame on me for not knowing about the famous Lupini. Luigi Lupini. Tried. Lupene? I don't think his name is read like that. I'm pretty positive it's Lupini. Penne pasta, exactly. Lo pipi. <laughs> Lo pipi. Lo pipi. Lopin. Remember tear being red as tire. I'm still I'm still sorry for that. I will never forgive myself. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
This is our Oshi jailbirds. Don't say that. You love me. 10 more minutes? Isn't it 20 more minutes? Oops. Look, as long as I'm catching things, I don't mind. So long? I don't know if seaweed counts, though. I'll be honest. Catching seaweed. Oops, all seaweed. It's a secret that'll come in handy later. What do you mean? I'm like level seven fishing. What do you mean? It's because I'm a low fishing skill. I don't want to hear that slander. It all comes down to skill issue. Excusez-moi. Okay, this will be the last one. Oh shit. Dude, I don't want these super cucumbers. I do not care. <laughs> Dude, I'm pretty sure I already have the iridium fishing rod. What what are you guys saying? All these people are lucky to live so close to everything. I need to run so far to get anywhere. Meanwhile, these people have it easy. Can we get a compilation of Narissa making funny noises? That would be nice. You have the enchanted one? I don't even think I can get that yet. I'm gonna be completely honest. I've not even heard about that in, in my game. I'm gonna sell the pearl. I don't... I'm not going to give that to anybody. I'm going to get the money from it. Hey. Like magic. Yeah, so see, I don't have a lot of dishes, which is my own fault, but I have the dish for Maki and I need fish, seaweed, and rice, but I don't know how to get rice.
Fried calamari. Um, could you bring me an iron bar? <sighs> what an annoying guy. Is it Wednesday TV recipe day? I have no idea. I've got to be honest, I've never understood that. Uh, I've never, I've never gotten stuff from the TV. Pierre sells rice, does he really? And I just didn't know that this whole time. And none of you said anything. Yeah, 15, uh, technically less. Till the song goes live, so everyone please open up the link. I'll finish taking care of my farm, and then we will pause and talk. Okay. Snailbert. Looks really happy today. I know I don't need to keep the hay full, but I like to keep it full in case I forget to feed them. You don't need to tell me how to play. Clearly, I understand the basics. It's the stuff that doesn't matter much to regular gameplay that I don't know. If you'd like to give me advice on stuff that isn't usually maybe common knowledge for someone who isn't a pro at the game, that would be helpful. But telling me something obvious is not helpful at all. But I still appreciate you trying to help. But please stop! <laughs> I think it said my luck was neutral. Okay. So here's the deal. I... Quality sprinkler. Iron, gold, and refined quartz. Orders the eight adjacent tiles every morning. This one does four. This one does eight. How do I unlock... How do I unlock the iridium sprinkler? And how does it work? <laughs> Someone reveal the secrets of the world to me. Please. Level eight farming. How far are we? Close! The only thing we're level 8 at currently is foraging, which honestly I feel like isn't too bad for how far we are. Um, buy them from Krobus once a week. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll get sewer access probably pretty soon here. We just need a few more things to find. Did I go in here already? I think so. Yep. So I don't want to start planting anything till that, but thank God we only have one. We only have the bulletin board left. Closer and closer we, we go. It is level 9 farming confirmed. <laughs> Naru Hodo. Winter is time for mining and finish Krobus mission. One day. One day it'll happen. Board out there quite yet. <sighs> this bitch is closed on Wednesdays. We'll stand here till noon. I'm gonna see if he's so like Baki today. He's probably not. <laughs> I guess I'll just go around and uh 
Oh, uh, shut up, Lewis. My gifts have not refreshed. So I cannot give Shane another gift. So I do not need to buy him a pizza. <sighs> oh. One thing we can go do real quick. Hopefully it'll be real quick. We've still got a few minutes before the song starts, in which I will take a break. Don't worry. We will stop before the song premiere. We need to give him an iron bar. He appreciates this. And now he's going to give me money. Okay. I will not encourage their drinking problems. I'm sorry. I just will not allow it. I don't care if it's cheaper. I'm trying to get him to quit alcohol. I have never seen him have anything except these. Annoying. Okay. What's poppin' party, people? How's people's day been? People's day. Are you sad? Thank you. It's because I'm in Itimi. We still have a little bit of time before the song comes out. Like five minutes left and then a two minute countdown from the video. So we got time to run around in the day. We don't have to pause yet. Soon we will, but not yet. We can keep running around, picking up shit off the floor, foraging. Because it's what I do best. <laughs> How's your day, Narissa? It's pretty good. I'm getting to just play this game that I like. Hang out with you guys. I couldn't ask for anything better. And tomorrow, we get to hang out again on Valentine's Day. For those of you who uh, are not having plans like little old me. <laughs> Wear a hat like that IRL. It's hard with my horns. Hats don't really work for me the way they work for other people, which is unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. Ugh. Five minutes. You don't have plans? Yeah, not really. Uh, my plan is to stream. <laughs> I will be here, I will be streaming, and uh, that's, yeah, that's it. Your face must get sunburnt, yeah. I have to like break holes for my, for my giant horns. But like that doesn't work for like something like a beret, you know? Or something that's cute and supposed to sit on the back of your head. A lot of people draw my horns really far up on my head. But like, as you can see, by my ears are actually my my hair ornaments. Where my horns are actually closer to being pretty much like on near, closer to the back of my skull. Rather than being right behind my ears.
Okay. Bibu is in song chat. Bibu, Bibu. Okay. So, we're gonna wait here. We're gonna pause the game. I'm gonna mute the game. That was my microphone. Don't let me forget to unmute the game. <laughs> okay? Don't let me forget to unmute the game. Or else we're going to be in a very interesting situation, okay? <laughs> Um, can I put... Yes, I can. Okay. What happens if you forget to unmute the game? Then we won't hear the game ever again. So, uh, if you're new or you just popped in for whatever reason, uh, please click the link in the pinned message. Going live in two minutes. I should make a tweet. Uh, going... Quote, quote, go, going live in a few minutes. Hee <laughs> hee. Yeah, head, headphone warning, whatever you need. Um, <laughs> I'm there already. Pop in. Are you guys ready? Yeah, three minutes, but then you also have to keep in mind then there's going to be that whole like long waiting screen. So if anyone needs to, now is the time to quick go grab some water while you're waiting for this to pop up. It's a good time to take a break while you're waiting for the song to premiere. You know what I mean? Two times the countdown. Yeah, don't forget as soon as it starts, two times the countdown so you catch up to where the actual live is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the the sooner you are there, uh, the quicker you'll get to listen to it. <laughs> I'm nervous. We worked really hard on this, so I hope you guys like it a lot. Uh, I'm really excited. Please enjoy. <laughs> mm. <laughs> we'll begin shortly. We've got about a minute. Uh... Soon, soon. <clears throat> I'm very excited. Yeah, Jewel Bird cover. It's time. It's time for the cutest cover you guys are ever going to see. I'll probably mute my mic while it's playing. Uh, so again, anyone who's confused, please explain to them. <laughs> Yeah, I'm waiting faster. Oh, I'm so excited. <gasps> rock, rock. Rock, rock. I hope you guys love it. Okay, guys, it's live. Go ahead and turn the playback speed to two times. So it catches up to the actual video live time. Two times speed. Yep, yeah, and it's it's loud. Yeah. All right, one minute left on the clock right now. <sighs> ah! Okay, I think you can change the countdown. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't know that this one's always too loud. Two times speed works for the premiere just for the countdown to get you caught up. 
Oh, shush, Yuro. She's about to sing. Okay, we got like 25 seconds, though. Uh, we worked so hard on this. I hope you guys love it. Okay. I, I'm going to go on mute for the duration of the cover. Eight, seven, six. You guys enjoy. Uh, tell me what you think. Yatta! Yatta, yatta, yatta! Yatta, yatta! <laughs> Did you guys like it? I hope so. Oh, yeah, short. It's it's a short song, but it's a cute song, and I got to sing it with Bibu, which makes it so special. Let me unmute the game. I love Bibu. That's my baby girl. Ah, oh. she almost kissed. It was a dream sequence. It was a dream. It was but a dream. Yeah, now, because it was short, now you're gonna have to re-listen to it. Only 67 views. I just refreshed the page. Oh no, you guys are gonna have to go listen to it a lot. <laughs> okay, let's get back to the gameplay, shall we? We've got a little bit of time left. Mm. Tell us about the song. Okay, so... Uh, this song is by... Uh, as you can see, Vivinos. Uh, but it's written by Koyo. Um, I love this song since it came out. It's a part of a series that they did uh, called Pink Bitch Club. It's very, it's very interesting. <laughs> It's kind of like horror-esque. Uh, I don't think I need truffle oil anymore, but let me quick check. No truffle oil. No truffle oil. It'd be nice if she had a truffle. Oh well. But yeah, so I really liked this song when it came out. And so I was quite... I've always, always really wanted to cover it. But I was like, eh, you know, um... It'll probably, it'll probably, I don't know if I'm going to be able to, you know, basically. So, with that in mind, I was like, okay, well, uh, I knew I wanted to, but obviously I, I wanted to make sure that the video came out, uh, just as cute as the original. 
So I was very fortunate to have the cutest member of Hollow Live English Advent, which is debatable with Mokoko in the group, actually. But uh, the cutest member, Bibu herself, uh, joined me because, of course, Bibu is my wonderful special friend. So being able to sing with her was fantastic. Being able to have her sing this song that I've always wanted to cover, too. Even better. Fuwawa in shambles. Fuwawa is sexy. What do you mean? Lashwa, thank you very much for the Aka Supa. Love this song, Risa. Definitely going to listen to it for a while. I also got a slight Yandere vibes, so probably... Well, if you look at the original, it's not really Yandere vibes, but it, it definitely is a, from a horror series. So they're all short songs, but most of them are pretty horrifying in like a lot of their concepts for Pink Bitch Club. So there is a horror aspect uh, to it. My, my version doesn't have as many as the original. But I'm fine with that. Because <laughs> uh, mostly I wanted it to be cute. So there's actually in the original like some distortion in the end too. But I decided I didn't really want to do that. Well, that was cute in a different way because she's fluffy headed. Yeah. <laughs> uh. It's probably one of those fucking cucumbers. Bro. A blobfish! Let's go! Yeah, I, I hope you guys thought that the cover was cute. I hope you guys loved the video of Nemu. Memu had actually covered the song before, which is how I found out about her cute ass art. And I was just like, damn, her stuff is beautiful. <laughs> Cheer! <laughs> Thank you very much for the Aka Supa. Thanks for the hard work you do and putting out extra content for us. Of course. Thank you. But yeah, so I really wanted to work with Memu and I knew it just had to be Memu if I was going to be working with someone for, for this one for this cover so i i had asked my manager I was like, can we get memu her art is so cute and it fits this song perfectly memu i was very happy to work with her she also has a cover of that song so if you check out her twitter in the description will there be english subtitles i'm gonna be so honest to you luigi there is no amount of english subtitles that'll make this song make any more sense I I understand Japanese to an extent. I've read the English lyrics. The song doesn't really make a, a lot of sense in English. I'm, I've got to be honest with you. Oops. I the reason I don't often get to put English lyrics on covers uh, is because we have to basically get permission for the English translations to put them on. So either we have to do them or we have to, and even if we do do them, we have to still get permission from the artist to make sure that the translation is accurate. I, I don't really know what the whole process is, but basically like, you know, it's, it's a permission thing. I can't just take someone's translation off the internet and like throw it on my video and call it a day. Um, because I didn't make the translation, you know? <laughs> so like, I'd love to put English English lyrics on every single one of my videos, but like, I'm gonna be so honest. It is way less trouble for you guys to just go <laughs> and Google it. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I know it's not like the best answer. I know it's like, oh, but I know it's, I know it's possible. So why don't you do it? But like, you know, it's it's so much extra dramatics for English subtitles, you know? 
that again i if if it was just a matter of putting them on i would do it right now i would go i'd get a translation i would time them myself and put it up you know but like it's really for whatever reason it's not that simple <laughs> so again i know it sucks i know it's so much nicer to have them on the video but please if you want to know what the song is there's english translations available of pretty much every song i've covered ever you can google it there you can probably find multiple for all of them and you will get a quality translation immediately it's just not on the video which again i know sucks Sidonie, thank you very much for the soup uh, no need to read out loud congrats on this wonderful cover with bibu <gasps> or dosing on sugar thank you Gilbert really is a beautiful mix right we sound so good yeah, and someone can drop it in the comments too. I probably can't pin it, but like if enough people upvote it, you know. But yeah, I I just personally, I am doing a lot of stuff that I'd rather not clog down my manager and everything. Trying to go get permission for an English translation or like bugging people to write an English translation to a song. <laughs> so I know people are going to keep asking, but every time I release a Japanese cover... People ask, or like, this would be better with English subs. This is Hollow Live English. Why don't you have English subs on your video? <laughs> I'm like, please, please, just look it up. It's so easy. <laughs> but yeah, I trust me. I I dumb. I I don't dumb down. I I ruin my manager's life with work. My manager doesn't need any extra work. <laughs> uh complaint is old as time yeah basically we caught a blobfish that's what matters we got all the fish oh now we just gotta rush back and hope we make it to our house in time Yeah, it, that too. It's like looking it up takes just as much effort as posting the comment asking them to put up English lyrics. Like, you could spend the same amount of time Googling it and getting an answer immediately if you want to know what the song is saying. And trust me, I get it because like, I know a little bit of Japanese, but I definitely don't know. I don't know Japanese, you know? <laughs> I'm not like good at speaking Japanese. I still need help with a lot of stuff. If I can do it, you can too. I believe in you. Oh. Level 8 fishing. Nice. I thought Hollow Life is a Japanese company, yeah, but I'm in. But I also cover Japanese music because I like singing in Japanese. Give me some information about upcoming event. Your secret friend is Demetrius. I need to get a gift for Demetrius. I don't know what he likes, though. Oops. That's not good. Demetrius. <laughs> he loves strawberries? We don't have any yet. CJ is Siege! Thank you very much for the Akasupa. <laughs> I'm glad you like the cover. <gasps> I know that says I promise I'm not dating Maru. You're so right for that, actually. That's what I would like to do. That's what I would like to give him. Because maybe then he'll forgive me. Atenza, thank you for the Aka Supa. It's already been said that I will say it to you. Congratulations on your super cute cover. Yes! Her sugar quality. I'm glad you guys now understand what I meant when I said that. Because, like, She's so sugary! I don't know how else to even say it. She's just like a little ball of sugar. 
She's gonna give me a cavity. That's how sweet she is. Do the blue chickens give blue eggs? It feels like they just give normal eggs. What's the perk to actually having a, a blue chicken? I don't remember. Will someone please tell me? They're freaking blue. It's blue? Is that really it? No, like, special anything? They're just blue? It's a chicken, but blue? I just- I just thought- I don't know! I thought there was something special! Is there really not? You're kidding, right? What do you mean? What color are your eggs? I don't lay any. Um. Why are pomegranate saplings so expensive? Oh my god. That's so much money. Pierre, you fucking bitch. Uh... What an asshole. I hate Pierre. I hate Pierre. The samplings are expensive. He needs money, Risa. Joja. I'm driving Joja out of the town. Soon Joja will, will not be able to survive. That's how unlivable I'm making this small town for Joja. I'm kicking Morris to the streets. Morris doesn't stand a chance against me. Nerissa Wabin quaffed. Ugh. Bella, where have you been, Joja? What the... <laughs> Tomonori, super chat, arigatou gozaimasu. <sighs> Blueberry tart. Nice. I, you guys, every time you say Bella, where have you been, Loka? It makes me want to rewatch Twilight again. Like, is that what you want? You just want me to keep watching Twilight? Twilight watch along? I think Yofi and Shiori both want to watch it with me. I need them. I need them. I need- I need it, you know? What's stopping you? Uh, trying to get that group to have time to watch the Twilight movies together. Cause look, if we start, we are watching it to the end. I- I am not- I'm not allowing us to not watch all of the Twilight movies. So I need to make sure that when we plan it that we're all dedicated. Because we have to be there the whole time. To the end, all eight movies. It's not eight movies. It's like five movies. 
What are you on about? Please, no, I'm begging you. Look, if you don't realize how freaking hilarious Twilight is, then you are weak, okay? If you can't see how funny that, that show is, that, that movie, the movies are collectively, they're literally comedy, and it's even better because I'm sure they didn't realize the comedy gold that they were writing as they were making these movies. They have aged so badly and so, so well all at the same time. They're amazing. They're incredible. Mume and Fauna would agree. Me? Weak? Exactly. You don't want to be weak, do you? The CGI baby is the funniest part. Every time you see her, you laugh. Because she looks like shit. <laughs> she looks so bad. It's not even rom-com. It's just comedy. Yeah, like... When you're watching Edward get NTR'd and he's just okay with it, and you're like, wait a sec, does he like this? <laughs> wait a minute. I- I think- I think I'm noticing a- something- a pattern here with you, Eddie. Eddie boy. <laughs> and Bella just has the fucking funniest one- there's so many good one-liners. <gasps> Alex? That's a good boy, Dusty. Oh, he doesn't look like a bad Doug. You might be the only one around here who understands me. No one else has seen the kind of stuff you and I have. Nurissa, did you overhear me talking? Uh, yeah, I heard everything. I was eavesdropping. I don't really like to talk about it, but I guess I'll explain. Have you ever wondered why I live with my grandparents? See, my father wasn't a good guy. Well, he ruined everything for me and my mom. Half of the time he was gone, and the other half he'd drink all night and tell me I'm worthless. That I'd never amount to anything. I think he resented me for being young. Bitter because he wasted his youth doing nothing and had gotten nowhere in life. Well, that's my take on it anyway. Who knows what was going on in his mind. One day he left, and soon after that, Mom got sick and passed away. I had no choice but to move in with my grandparents. I'm sorry, Alex. That sucks. You seem like I, someone I can trust. That's why I'm telling you, uh, you this, Nerissa. I don't want any sympathy. If there's one good thing in my about my past, it's that it's made me strong. Now, let me show you what Dusty will do for a barbecued steak. <laughs> Look at him slobbering. I think he might like steak as much as I do. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. Okay. We bought one tree. We don't have money to upgrade anything, but we really need to upgrade the farm and get a pig. Whom will you be inviting to the flower dance? Elliot, obviously. We're just like casually dating Shane. For emotional support. For him. For his sake. Not mine. <laughs> Poor Shane. Look, I've married Shane in a past game. He, he'll he be fine. He, he doesn't need me. Uh, did I just sell? No, I didn't. Good. I need to go see if I have the right ingredients to make Maki. I don't know if I do. I do. Woo! 
I gotta plant the pomegranate tree. I wish I didn't plant the cherry tree now because I spent money on it and I can't move it here. How do I move a sapling? Is there a way to move a sapling? I don't know. Yeah. Looks uneven, but it's fine because the tree will grow out. Ugh. <sighs> Call Fauna? I need to. Like, I wonder if I can just plant, like, an apple, for example. And then just, like, have it. You have to ooh at it. I see. Okay. We have the Maki roll. Now we just need a truffle. How did you guys say was another way to potentially get a truffle in this game apart from buying it from the traveling salesman? Potentially. Ooh. Ooh. I don't do it as cute as Fauna does because who could? She's just so cute. Okay, apart from pigs. I already know pigs. Give me- I said another way. Give me a different way that's not pigs. How else can I get them other than pigs? You need pigs? I know I need pigs. It's my goal, but how- is there an, any other way? Okay. Truffle. Wine, rabbit's foot, pomegranate, aquamarine. Man, I love Fauna. Fauna versus Bibu. Oh my god, I can't answer that. I don't know who's cuter. They both have unmatched cuteness. Really lucky at the Sunday market cart. Okay. Okay. Uh, what levels is Aquamarine going to be most commonly found on? Anyone want to quick Google that for me? Um, uh, I'm gonna look it up. Frozen geodes? At least four forty. Floor forty. Forty plus. Okay, forty to fifty nine. Thank you. Let's go to forty five. And we'll just start crushing shit. Um, I forget what one specifically is potential for frozen geodes. Mm -hmm. I thought it was these ones. But maybe I'm crazy. We'll go down a level. Guys, don't... Uh. 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 They look triangular. I know what the geodes look like. It's been a while since I've seen them though, but I mean like... The rocks I have to crush to get them. Okay, it is just random, I suppose. It's not a guaranteed drop. Go to 40 farm the rocks and then leave. You can go back into the same level. No walking. I mean, I don't mind going down like this, though. Like, I'm not- I- I'm- my sword's too strong. I'm not bugged. You know? I don't know if there's a specific benefit to being on level 40 specifically. If that's what you're trying to convey, then please tell me. Hmm. 
Who saves you time? I see. Damn, I really killed everything down here. Have I really found only one frozen geode since I got down here? Also, I'm really glad that you guys all enjoyed the cover. Thank you for people coming in to say you liked it. I'm happy. Happy, happy. Love the cover, thank you. Damn, lots of ways down today. Oh, it's getting late. I gotta get the fuck out of here. excited to go read all the comments on the cover so if you haven't left one already please be sure to go look and leave a comment key if you can read this come to secret woods please bring maple syrup i don't have any maple syrup on me oops I hit something behind the community center. Yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hey. Already did? Good. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, Linus. I only got two. Are you kidding me? That is unlucky if I've ever heard of it. No Tomo. Why did you need the frozen geodes? I'm trying to find aquamarine. Oh. I need aquamarine for the community center. Eh, someone said frozen geodes gives me aquamarine. Where do I go to get aquamarine then? What level? Since you have the answers, please tell me. Aqua and Marine, don't we all? No! Don't mess with me. Guys, I, I'm looking for real answers only. Not your meme answers. I had the more icy areas. Not sure if it's a definitive answer. Would someone mind looking it up is what I am asking. 
very politely please because I am playing a game and I could stop to look them up, but I'd rather not. Would anyone be willing to look it up if they appear any more on certain floors than they do other floors? Onegai Shimas. There's the aquamarine, uh, but this. Eh? Uh, we're after reaching the bottom of the mines, floor 40 plus, otherwise skull cavern or quarry. Okay. Thank you. Obtained from aquamarine nodes and gem nodes in the mines, from panning and from fishing treasure chests. We have very little luck. Like bait trapped in a cage of ice. I see. Only Narissa's voice can cure my depression. Then aren't you lucky today? Since not only do you have a long Narissa Ravencroft stream, but you also have a new Narissa Ravencroft cover with the one and only Bibu Koseki. Have something for me. She hates me. She hates me. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Unfortunate. Unfortunate. That's over gamers. Um, I'm pretty sure I already have all gifts for everyone that I need to give gifts to. Yeah. The wizard is somehow though catching up to Robin. Which is good. Uh, very good. Really can't complain about that in any capacity. I wish I could date the wizard. His name is Rasmodius. I know, I just don't care. Bailver, thank you for the five gifted memberships to the community. Sam's trying to do a kickflip. Lamo. <sighs> Will you sell me a truffle? to also know. Oh, I've gotten all of these. They're nothing new. Unfortunate. Uh, 
Have I already checked the merchant? Yes. We've checked the merchant. She had nothing of value. Now we just need to not die in the mines, which should be easy. Level 40 and below. We just need to hope we find what we're looking for. Well, it's good that someone uh, double-checked uh, and clarified that we just need to find the actual things that look like crystal. What? Where the hell am I? Where have I just been sent? Should be an actual- yeah. Just like this is, I think, a ruby. So we know we just need to look for stairs. And then... Those. And if we don't see them, we can just leave the floor and find a way down. Of monsters this level but it's good because it gets up my combat skill nice way down nothing here luck. No dice. And no dice with the stairs either. Not great odds, I'll admit. You know, we just have to get lucky once. And at the very least, maybe we'll find a diamond. I don't think they're here, but you never know. Check your luck on TV. Uh huh. I don't believe in luck. I believe in. I don't know. I can hear my cat snoring. She's so fat. She snores so loud. She's so... That's what she sounds like. How fat are we talking? She's a fat cat. Like, she's really, really fat. I'd imagine she's uncomfortable. And it's funny because, like, we've tried everything. We've, like, lowered her diet. She eats less. Like, we've tried so many things, somehow she always manages to find things she shouldn't be eating and eats them. <laughs> She'll even get into little man's food. I walked in on her yesterday eating little man's food and she knew it was wrong because the moment I saw her, she ran away. 
Eh. I borrowed a necklace from mom, but lost it somewhere near the bathhouse. She's going to freak out when she notices it's missing. There are moms in this game? Hold up. Some cats are just chubby. No, she's just spoiled. I love her. She's my baby girl, you know? She's my baby kitty, but she's one fat cat. Nice coffee bean. Oh my god. I'm so silly because I was genuinely looking for a way down. Not realizing somehow that I had already found one. That's so funny. They really only do, like, one damage, huh? <laughs> Pathetic. Please. I've gone down almost ten levels. Just one aquamarine, please. This game literally hates me. Uh. Welcome back, Ranger. Thank you for the super. Bro. What is my luck today? Because it feels like it's not good, is what it is. Bro. You gotta be kidding me. I need to get out of here. But you're kidding me. We've been in the mine for basically the whole day. Not even a single... Not even a single thing of aquamarine. Even here, for whatever reason, it's more inclined to give me ruby... Use your luck for the cover, you're right. You are correct with that statement. <sighs> Did you check the quarry? Yeah. I basically cleared it out completely. Um. Okay, uh, I can go to bed in a minute. I've got time. It's like, oh, I'm tired. Oh, I don't care. Should have bought all the aquamarines. Well, then they should sell some at their store at an inflated price. But they're not.
Instead, they're choosing to make me suffer for no reason. to most buy out every store in the morning. I would believe that, actually. Hmm. Can you clone Aquamarine? Probably, but I just don't have any. I can't believe blue chickens don't do anything special. I'm so confused. I thought blue chickens would, like, I don't know what I was expecting. I thought they'd do more rather than just be blue. <laughs> Isn't that special enough? But I mean, like, for my money. For my earnings. You have to go through the trouble of romancing Shane to get them in the first place. They're blue like aquamarine. pain in my Kokoro. Yeah, why aren't the eggs blue? Yeah! Immediately thought of the chicken guy from Ocarina. Yeah! That's what he made me think of too the first time I saw him. The blue chickens in this game. I was like, oh. Is that a Legend of Zelda reference? <sighs> hmm. Bro, he's rigged. Everything he does is rigged. And Gunther is a thief. Okay. We should need one more thing. If we can manage to get one more thing to donate, we should be at 60. He should hit the rocks better. Exactly. If he hit them better, I bet they'd have better things in them. So therefore, it's his fault, not mine. I'm just double checking that I don't have any of these geodes anywhere. But I'm going to temporarily put it in here anyway. Because we're going to go back to the mines. Uh, I should try to talk to Shane today, but I'll just give him a pizza tomorrow and apologies. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
We have no luck, jailbirds. <laughs> apology pizza always cheers me up. I wish someone would give me an apology pizza. It doesn't even have to be an apology, actually. I just wish someone would give me a pizza. <laughs> I'd be happy to receive a pizza from you, jailbirds. Down. Pineapple, pepperoni, and pineapple. Like, why are we finding so many rubies in this area? Ugly things. What are these random ones? I'm just so confused. Potato pizza. I want to try corn on pizza. Apparently it's pretty popular in like Korea. But I've never tried it. But I feel like it would be good. Cause I'm like, you know, I really like corn. The ruby and crystallarium. I don't know what that word means. Is that my- my thing that multiplies them? Money for pizza party. <laughs> um... Stuffed crust. I love stuffed crust. My favorite place to order is Papa John's. We major, thank you for the pinky. Oh, I'm choking. <clears throat> I ran out of water. I don't have any water. <gasps> hmm. I'll need to take a break soon to go get water. A wooden mallet. What am I going to do with a wooden mallet? Chicago style is pretty good. Uh, why are you here? What's going on? I don't think there's going to be any aquamarine on this level. Just a hunch. <gasps> I'd like to thank my mom. I'd like to thank my family. Ugh. <sighs> Thank goodness. Okay, here's what we're going to do, jailbirds. So, before we do this, just in case for whatever reason I ever want an aquamarine again, I'm going to do something so crazy, okay? So, I'm going to put it in here and get another one. So, we have two. And I'm going to come here. I'm gonna come here and I'm going to take the wood. I'm going to make a chest, okay? Hear me out. I know I sound crazy right now. I know you think I sound crazy, but I'm gonna make a chest back here and I'm going to have it be exclusively for gems. We're gonna make it uh, this kind of pink color. I'm gonna put these in it. Every time we find a gem, I'm going to put it in there. <laughs> Wait, did I have a... Does this count? Yeah! Yeah! I don't think I have any more right now. So we're probably good. I have a ruby. I can take a topaz. Okay. 
Topaz. Uh, I can sell this ruby. I don't need it. Any other gems? I don't think so. Any gems? I don't think so. Any gems? Nope. Okay. Wait. Amethyst. Universally loved gift, apparently. Frozen tears are gems, too. Okay. I guess we'll put it in here. So, this is going to be our collection thus far. Bottom right, there's a gem. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Thank you, Dilbert. We'll keep those. Uh, everything else. I'm fine. Getting rid of. No, not you. Okay, and then I'm going to quick take a quick break to go refill my water. Chill here. Look at the screen. I'll be right back. Listen to my cover again while I'm gone. <gasps> Hello, I'm back. It's me. Oh. Oh. I did it. Oh. I think he just closed. Yeah, like an hour ago. I tried. Wasn't the cover again while you were out? I hope you liked it even better the second time. Ugh. Hi, back. I'm dead. Ha ha ha. You guys are so funny. Good morning, fellow jailbirds. <laughs> do 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 do. Uh 
only second, huh? Uh, how many times have some of you listened to it? It just came out. Dad's, he always says his dad's coming back soon. That is kind of the to the point where, like, I don't believe his dad is coming back soon. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sure he... I know, I know he is. But at the same time, it just feels so... You know what I mean? He's so close. I can taste it. So I'm not gonna waste it. So is Demetrius. He's getting very, very close. Hmm. Oh, it feels so good to put water into my stomach. The best feeling in the world. Pam isn't responding. She never responds. There, now he has the Maki rolls, but now I don't need them anymore. So, we still need wine, which I'm surprised we can- I understand why, but I'm also surprised we can't just buy it from here. You know what I mean? Why? Water is good, but haven't you eaten anything? Uh, I had breakfast, and then I had- I literally downed- You know those bagged salads? I had a whole bagged salad to myself, all three servings of it. <laughs> but before that, this morning, I had two eggs. Technically, I, I guess I only ended up eating one egg because I gave the other to my broder. But I had an egg on toast, and then I had half an avocado, and then I had a piece of bacon. Yeah. I, I was eating well. Okay, we'll get another aquamarine soon, and then the red cabbage, I think, is a spring thing. Da, 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 da. If you want to buy it, it's in Joja. What is? A truffle? Can I go to Joja and buy a truffle? I specifically made salmon berry wine for the community center. Yeah, it's probably what I'll eventually do too. Not gonna lie. But for now, I put an apple into the, the thing. But it's taking a really long time. And I'm very confused about it. Because I bet it's not even gonna actually make it. You know? No, you can't. No, I can't. What? No, I don't know how late it is over at your place in the world, but do it if you're hungry. I'm not particularly hungry, but I was getting really dehydrated. Yeah, I bet it's gonna be a cider. It's all my fault! But I've dedicated too much time to waiting for it now. Oh! Good morning, dear. It was a lovely walk out here. I haven't seen this old farm in a long time. Looks even better than I remember. Here, I brought you a little something. It's a gift from one gardener to another. Oh, she's so sweet. A garden pot. These pots are really handy. You can use them to grow crops of any season indoors. They also look nice outside, but out here they can only house in-season crops. If you need more, they're really easy to make too. Here I've got an old magazine clipping with instructions. Hey. 
Thank you, Evelyn. I better go. George gets grumpy if he doesn't have his oatmeal on time. You have a great day, honey. I love her. Um, she wants hardwood. Ten pieces. <laughs> I can give you some hardwood, ma'am. Dead weight narrow. Thank you very much for the pinky. Wait. Earth Bee was easily the best thing I've listened to all day. Thanks for always being unapologetically being yourself and sharing your dedication to your craft with us here to support you. In <gasps> Thank you! I'm glad you enjoyed the cover. We both worked very, very hard. Ridiculously hard. Everyone who worked on the project worked very hard. So please be sure to go give everyone a follow. Kimi Oops did such a good job on the mix. Memu did so good on the art and the video. No, don't eat the egg. I don't know. I just feel so confused. Are you guys really not messing with me? That they really don't do anything special at all? Because I don't know why. I was reading or I was watching someone speed run the game and they were talking about specifically something to do with blue chickens. But I don't know what it was. And now you guys are like, haha, nothing special happens. And now you guys won't tell me anything. Usually you're the most backseaty backseaters ever. They don't? <laughs> Gonna need to find the video I saw again. See what the hell she was talking about. No, see, because she was like, she gave up, actually. She was like, I was trying to do this strat, but I gave up because I just don't like Shane. And I thought that that was really funny, actually. Like, sad, but, like, funny. Ugh. Oh, wait. It's Sunday. You know what that means. Time to make our way down. To see if we get lucky. According to the wiki, just normal and large. <laughs> oh! Counterfeit to the alternate in colors that the blue chickens are much easier to spot in the fields. I see. I see. I understand. I get it. I know I get it. I understand. It's whatever. It's not a big deal. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I really can't believe it. I can't believe it at all. He wants an apprentice. I am not a good fit because I have no magical energy. That's like not me. Not my vibes, you know? Well, let's see. Shane's really close. Demetrius is getting close. Robin's still far away, but we're working on it. Same with the wizard. Leah also likes us quite a bit and surprisingly so does Marnie. Pierre and Sandy do not like us, but I don't like Pierre. So honestly, I'm okay with that. 
this game where an achievement is to collect 100 unique scarecrows. I don't even... There's not even 100 unique scarecrows, are there? There's like eight rare crows, but... What are you talking about? Am I crazy? Marnie is great. I like Marnie a lot. But that's because like when I when I romance Shane, well I obviously you guys know that in my past playthrough I've mentioned I romanced everyone. 100%. <laughs> and I even befriended everyone in in town 100%. Which is a grueling task. Believe it or not. Um, so, I like, I don't know. I, I really got to like everyone in this town. They're all good. Good kids. Except for Pierre. Pierre never gets better. Linus is my buddy. I forget, guys. Is there 26 days or 28 days? If it smells weird. <laughs> this one is perfect. It's exactly what I need. 28? Okay. Um, okay, we need to look at how much everything is. The deluxe barn, we don't have enough wood. But I think we're pretty close. We do have enough for the deluxe coop. And we have enough money for both. Um, I don't know what this is. I've never done this before. So I don't understand it. But we are about 25 wood short to upgrade our barn. Ah, I guess that's literally a tree right here and right there. Seventeen. Wow, all of it fell into the water. Oh, this is great. We have the probably the last thing for Gunther. Bunabar. Stone and coal will increase in price. But I would do you mean like if I sell them? Because I don't buy them. Uh I was just cleaning some dust off my saw. Have you ever made anything out of wood? Yeah. Great. Then this blueprint should be a piece of cake for you. I think we've become good enough friends that I can trust you with my carpentry secrets. Here, let me show you the blueprints. Flute block. You can use these to get creative on your farm. Feels good to be able to decorate your house with things you've made yourself. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I feel like we've got a splurge for the deluxe barn. We also need a rabbit's foot, though. So we really need both, but we need a truffle. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and do the deluxe barn first. Can I gift her hardwood? That's a good question. Can I do that? I feel like I should be able to. She really liked that. I doubt Demetrius likes it quite as much though. I don't really think he'll like anything I have in my inventory to be completely honest. 
Maybe I give him bread? That was very thoughtful of you. He's a nice man. He's not, but he's a nice man. That was very thoughtful of you. Oh, Robin went up. I thought her and the wizard had the same amount of hearts. Am I crazy? Oh, well. I always love bomb Demetrius with fruit. I don't have any. I haven't come over here a single time. I don't speak his language. I don't remember. It's her birthday. Oh! I see. Nice. Oh, wow. There's more galaxy things that you can get. A galaxy hammer. Need all the scrolls. Ugh. How many scrolls are there all in all? Mm. Okay, this should hopefully be the last thing. Then we get the key to Krobus. No! Huh? What am I? Oh yeah, four. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three. 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60. He gives you a key in the morning. Oh, okay. Nanu hodone. Okay. What floor are diamonds on? What floor are diamonds on? What floors do diamonds spawn most commonly on? Diamonds, Stardew, Valley. Fifty plus on any floor. Diamond may also be dropped uh, by any monster after reaching the bottom of the mines. After reaching the bottom of the mine, diamond is red, purple, copper, or iron slime. Okay. Let's start a little deeper then, at like 90. Frequency increases. Uh. So the deeper I get, the more likely they're going to pop up. But really not by all that much. Eh? I 
already have a way down. Skull caverns more common with luck buff. I see. Well, I'm never going to have luck ever. Now we easily find an aquamarine. A ba 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 bomb. This mine's the skull mines. No, I'm shit in the skull mines. I don't want to go there. I can at all avoid it. Then I don't want to go to the skull mines until later. Use bomb. Maybe if there was like more like of a big cluster of something. But it's not like I particularly have a ton of bombs on me right now, I think, apart from what I picked up. If you get a rabbit's foot, yeah, we're working towards that eventually. Hibu Kapo, thank you for the five gifted memberships to the community. Might as well get some fiber. Okay. My inventory's full. I do not need this. I probably don't need this. But I would like to collect gems as I do find them. As possible. How do you use bombs without getting yourself hurt? <laughs> nice. Uh, the creatures known as the forest spirits of Juno is that to appear in abandoned buildings after they've gone to seed. Uh, when humans leave and nature begins to reclaim the territory, they don't appear. Yeah, 
Whoa. But that was all the bombs I had. So now... Oh, I need to get out of here. It's not that I see anything particularly special over there anyway. Uh... Oh, the humanity. I love how much easier it is to find books and worms and stuff in the winter. Like, it feels so easy. Read the secret note. Yeah, 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 I know. Uh, have you found my secret in the dark tunnel? I look forward to meeting you. What dark tunnel? Ugh. No money. No bitches. I'm broke. There's an old recipe that my grandma passed down to me. Enjoy. Nice. Collected the mushies. I want to skip my other animals, am I right? I already say you missed my birthday yesterday. I'm sorry. Happy birthday. Thank you for the super guataku. Moshi, moshi. Get gone. First and foremost, do some forging. Next, we're going to stop in up here. We just need red cabbage. Red cabbage. And then we're done with hers. Cabbage. Cabbage.
Marnie. Um, do I have any? I do have some geodes on me. Let's go open those up. What's in that geode? Hmm. Wait, didn't we just start a new day? Why didn't we get the thing? Guys. Why didn't we get the key? Gunther. I ate it. Ah, I see. Understandable. Thank you. Have a nice day. <sighs> uh... Maybe you need to donate more stuff. People said that it was... Only 60. I counted twice. I donated 60 items. <sighs> hmm. How much do you love me, wizard? He's he's really up there all of a sudden. It's really surprising. I've made myself an unfortunate situation of I really have to go to opposite sides of the map. <laughs> There's something in collections that you have not donated yet? No, I've donated everything for sure. Mm. Hi, Jess. Uh. <sighs> Interact with the locked gate. Okay, let's go try it. Interact with the log gate, rearrange the museum items. No dice. No dice, alas. What? Bum, 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 bum. One sec. I'm trying to read a message from my Manetan. Okay. Let's talk to me. You still have to wait for the next morning? It is the next morning. We donated all the items yesterday. What are you talking about? Did you s trigger the scene in Cinder Snap Forest? Well, one. Cause I mean, I, I obviously I found him and I chased him. 
And then he gave me a thing. Check the sewer grate. We were just there and just checked it. Nothing happened. <laughs> Thank you, though, for the suggestion. Oh. Oh, I already saw Jasmine say getting scared by the grate. Yes. After trying the grate or rearranging the items, you have to wait for the morning after doing that. Okay. I'll move one item around. Bro. He won't let me. He hates me. He absolutely despises Advises me. Blech. You have a book to donate? I mean, the books automatically donate, and I don't think they count. I don't think they count towards the count, rather. Why do I look so silly next to all the characters? They look so, like, normal and I just look like, eh. Eh. <laughs> Maybe we need to find the diamond? Oh, that's funny. He's already got my diamond. He has to give it to you. Seems like a bug. Well, I hope they fix it. Yeah, you're he's really liking me. That Demetrius. You need to donate, Bibu. Bibu, I'm sorry, it has to be this way. <laughs> sorry, Bibu. Ahoy there, lass. Cheese cauliflower. Not really something I'd buy, if I'm being completely honest. He's still saying, sorry, I'm being rude if we first met. Bro, we're dating. Finally, I can stop talking to Shane. Now we can focus on Demetrius, Robin, Wizard, Marnie, and Leah. Dwarf. Not a fan of cauliflower. Not really, actually. I don't like cauliflower. I don't think it tastes good. In fact, I think it's quite awful. Hi, Alex. You like the snow? Me? I'm just looking forward to spring. I can tell. You seem like that kind of person. I'm a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. Diggy diggy hole. I'm digging a hole. Oh, finally. Finally. Moment of truth. Are you wine? Yeah. 
Yeah, let's go. I hate the texture of cauliflower. Broccoli is king. Right? Broccoli is so satisfying to eat. I love, I love eating broccoli, but cauliflower, fuck that. Okay. Just a rabbit foot and a pomegranate. It's all that's left. I also have no wood, which is kind of an issue. I'm, I'm having a lot of issues, actually, this 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 playthrough. <laughs> I'm having a lot of problems, guys, and I really need help from some somebody. Anybody. If anybody would like to give me anything, I would appreciate it. Because I'm out of wood. I need a diamond. I'm just, I'm not, I'm not living, you know? <sighs> hey, almost $3,000. Hey, Narissa. Uh, so I got two tickets to the Tunnelers game tonight. If you want to come, meet me at the bus stop around 5 p.m. Okay. Time to go on a date with our boyfriend, Shane. Is, uh, unfortunate. <laughs> maybe Shane blocked the key. I don't know. Maybe we just maybe I'm just counting wrong. And we just don't have enough items. Like, that feels like the most likely case to me is I just really suck at counting and have counted wrong twice. Because I just- I just can't... fathom... that it's still not working. Don't feel bad for the sturgeon. Feel bad for me! Excuse me! Maybe you could try to restart the game. Maybe we'll just get lucky next time. <laughs> next time we play Stardew. Let's count together. I don't want to count again. Mm -hmm. It's not impossible. Yeah, it felt right when I counted it too. Which is why I'm very lost. And confused. He's just a small boy. <laughs> uh. Well, we found another thing to donate to the museum. So hopefully, if it's the case that we were just off a little... 
We'll maybe be luckier this time. <gasps> A bear! That smell, come closer. <laughs> Not every day I get to speak to a human. Looks like you've got a little forest magic in you. Now, about my note. Did you bring the good stuff? Oh, that smell. This is the really sweet stuff. It's my favorite sauce. It makes me very happy. You made a friend today, Nerissa. <laughs> I've got something special I want to show you. Yeah, what's Halson doing here, for real? The bear left you with his special knowledge. Oh, wow! Old Master Cannoli, still searching for the sweetest taste. Oh, it's the bear! Cannoli? Cannoli? Oops. Sussy bear? Yeah, I, I'm just confused by what just happened, but like, it's fine. I made a friend with the wilderness, you know? I made a bear friend. The berry kind of guy. Who's very cute. Aren't I, aren't I so funny? Ha 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 ha, cause he's very cute. Cause he, you know, ha 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 ha. I don't have anything on me I think that she likes. Uh, need to grow a rare seed for the statue. <sighs> Let me drink some water. There, I rearranged it. We added another item. We rearranged it a little bit. Now we must have hope. Um, Demetrius, we need to go see our boy. Hi, Lewis. <sighs> Hurry and go away so I can go through this garbage. Huh. 
Iris, it's all on you now, senpai. I need you most at this moment in time. Where art thou, Iris? Gonna look and see if I can't find another cute little frozen fruit. Because he seems to not mind those. And I'm literally trading with him, you know? So I need to keep one to give him at the event. Oh. Talk to my wife. Steaming hot cup of cocoa does sound really good right now. Where is your wife, man? That's like bombing the big dirt areas of the floors they drop on. I don't even know what floors they drop on. I'm gonna be honest. Okay. We need to meet Shane at 5 p.m. So, uh, we don't really want to go too, too far. Otherwise, I'd go to the mine, but we still do have a few hours. So, maybe we can go to the quarry and see if there's anything. Okay, we got something. Oh! Woo! Let's go, baby! <laughs> Let's fucking go! We're going home, kids! Let's go! Yo! Sorry, I don't remember what's in there. It's coming out now, though. Get out of there, Aquamarine. You are not needed at the moment. Nice. We did it! We did it on accident. Actually, you know, I need to give this to him. But basically, no one likes Holly. So we're just gonna... I do that. And if I didn't accidentally just sell Aquamarine that... I did. I did just sell. It's fine. You know, we'll probably find more and we don't need it now is the more important part. I really wish I could go into this. Though now, after- now that I have just made that mistake. Now that I have just made that very, very dumb mistake. They should really let you do that. Uh... Oh, hey, at four? Hey, there you are. I'm glad you decided to come. We should get going. I came an hour early, bro. What are you- why are you acting like I'm late? We're almost there. Ugh, pregame nerves. You're not playing! Here, I got you another cold one. Hey. Hey, I've been meaning to say, thanks for sticking with me through everything. My anxiety, depression, you know, you've been a really good friend to me. 
He's really enjoying the game. Anyway, it's your first gridball game, huh? Well, what do you think? Well, you see what makes me appreciate how it is back home. Oh yeah? I guess that makes sense. Me, I get bored with Pelican Town sometimes. But I like that you're different. We balance each other out. Ah, look, the tunnelers are on the attack. Woo, goal! Oh, that Alex and Gus are here. As well as, of course, us. But I think that's the only NPCs from Pelican Town I see. Oh. Oh, sorry, I got carried away there. Maybe I had one too many. Yeah, you should stop drinking. <gasps> Narissa! Oh man, Shane's starting to grow on me. Yeah, well that was definitely a good game. <laughs> Even if your team didn't win, you should feel that way. Oh, yeah, and we won, too. Oh, they did win. But that's not why it was good. Well, see you soon. I'm never talking to you again, Shane. Sorry to report. That that was it. That was the peak. Peak of our friendship. Let's put out this rare crow. Very nice. I wish it would grow faster. Let me quick uh, refresh the page. A. Is my chat's really behind, I think? <sighs> Poor Shane. Shane is Jake. You mean like from from fucking Twilight? I don't, I don't know if I agree with that. A Considering you Edward and Elliot. Oh my god. I did no such thing. Oh my god, I can't sell this stupid thing. I don't want it. Fine. Have a little chicken by my house. Okay. Moni. <sighs> Gunther still didn't come by. Where is he? Gunther, where are you? Oh, that reminds me. We need to go buy a pig. Right? This is as big as the farm gets, right? It doesn't get any bigger than this. Rip key, you don't know how to count. I know how to count! I don't want to eat the large egg. Why would I want to eat the large egg? God, we just need to upgrade it just for the fact that I will never have to feed 
them again. You know? Mmm, egg. <sighs> An egg for you in these trying times. Give it to Marnie this morning. Don't you mean don't count on it instead, Narissa? Guys, I counted twice. I'm not gonna count again. There's no way that I was wrong. The first time I counted, I was too short. I gave two, I counted again, and I had 60. What's the chance of me being wrong twice? And I've given three additional items now. I also believe she counted right. Thank you for believing in me. Okay. We tempt her with an egg. An egg in these trying times, Marnie? Adios. Okay, purchase animals. The only thing we're missing now is a wabbit. But we can buy a pig. Oh, they're so expensive. Okay, I need more money. We'll be back. Yeah, the, the cutscene with the kids here, the sewer happened. I'm pretty sure I gave 60 items. There's a very, very small chance I'm wrong. But I am convinced that is not the case. <sighs> Hasta la vista, baby. Did I give two gifts to the... Yes, I did. I'm gonna go talk to Demetrius. And give him this. We need yours. I do need to build a thing for a horse, but then don't I have to buy a horse, too? Oh. I'm so silly. God, they talk so much. Demetrius still- is he just saying the same thing over and over again? Demetrius, shut up. Okay, so to upgrade our house again, it's 50! And I can't have a baby till we do this upgrade! Oh well, well we might as well not get married then until we can afford this. Okay, well... <laughs> we need the deluxe coop. That's essential. This should be very easy for us to afford, actually, but I need to get a pig first. Why is it so expensive to have a baby? Why is it so expensive? Just let me have a baby. I don't need a nursery. If my sister has taught me anything, it's the case that... Babies prefer to sleep in bed with you anyway. So like... I don't get it. Let's 
cut down some trees. I'm out of wood anyway. Very nice. I just need to find a way to get lots of money very fast. That doesn't involve going to the mines. I don't want to go. how to open this up try fishing you make a valid point jailbird Suppose we could rob a bank. I don't know about that one. I don't even think there is a bank in this city, which is kind of weird now that I'm thinking about it. It's a little strange. Mm. Oh, sorry, my eye. For no banks in Pelican Town. These Pelican Town res residents are really not doing well, huh? Forage, forage, forage. Forage, forage, forage. Forage, forage, forage. Forage, forage, forage. Oh, forage, 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 for, 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 forage. And that's an example of why it's important when you're writing lyrics that you put the stresses in the right place because even though I was saying forage, it didn't sound like I was because the stresses weren't at all in the correct part. Instead, it sounded like I was saying something else completely. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Yep, you heard porridge because... The, yeah? There's, there's forage and porridge. But granted, admittedly, I'm bad at telling where the stress is. I heard forage. That's because you knew what word I was saying. But the thing is, if you had heard that in a song and not knew that I was saying forage, then you would run into the issue of not knowing what it is without looking at the lyrics. So you can say forage, 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 and it sounds correct. Versus forage, forage, forage. You see forage. Sounds wrong. Even though you might still be able to tell that I'm saying forage. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. I'm out of space. Guess you're right. It's not an I guess. I am. It's time for you to go to bed. No! You can't make me. You'll never- you'll never take me alive. <laughs> Hi, Alex. Hi, Shane. Hi, Jody. She likes sleeping for fun. Me too. Yeah, there you go, Harvey. 
Now we're friends. Eh, why are you guys trying to get me to go to bed? We're almost done with the month. We've got like four days left. I don't need to sleep. Jailbirds are EP. You want me to end the stream? This is usually like right when I end stream regularly. Are you telling me that I got you guys on a schedule and now you're used to going to bed at that time? That's okay because t tomorrow will be shorter in game because we have a festival day tomorrow. And then we just have three more full days left. And then we'll be ending the stream after that. With that, we should have enough to buy a pig. However, we don't really have... We're not really in the proper situation to do it right now because it's a festival day. Oh, my big fat cat's getting up. She's looking around. She's sniffing around the floor. Girl, there's nothing on the floor that you should be eating. What is that? Stop trying to eat things. Get out. I love her. Sorry. She's been getting really sick and throwing up because people have been feeding her food she's not supposed to be eating. So, she's on a she's on a bland diet basically. She's not supposed to eat anything that isn't what the doctor said she needs to be eating. <laughs> oh no, yeah, it's a little nerve-wracking. She's okay, though. She's an old lady, though. So it is a little bit worrisome, if I'm being honest. Yeah, I think they're feeding her chicken and rice. Like, real chicken and rice. Well, thank you for the soup. I'm glad you slept well. Yeah, grandma, get well soon. God, it's so nice that it fills itself up here. That was beautiful. No. Yeah, little lady does eat like a true lady. But the issue is she likes re regular cat kibble. So little man just has regular ass cat food. And she's like, I don't like this bland diet. So she'll wait until his food is put out and until everyone's gone. And then she'll go and she'll try to steal all of his food. But little man obviously also needs to eat. And he doesn't really steal her food. He's like really skinny. Even though, like, he has plenty of food. But little lady, he just doesn't eat it, like, all at once or anything. Oh, time to go to the town square! Just gotta make sure we have that for our guy. Have you tried telling them swipe or no swiping? It's a good idea. All right, let's go talk to everyone. Sure. I'm not going to read this. Uh, I don't actually care. Spending time with my family is tiring sometimes. I wonder who my... S oh! oh no, did I accidentally start? Pierre? I'm your secret gift giver this year. Here, open it.
Thanks. Okay, good. I was like, oh my god, am I gonna have to restart the day? Because <laughs> I'm stupid. Um... What am I hoping to? A, a new watering can. Look, they're totally a couple. They're always sitting at the same table. They're always around each other. They dance with each other at the flower dance. And you're telling me none of these people ever want to get together. In this, in this game. None of them, ever. None of them. I just don't know. I don't know what to think. They do only if you get a only if you p get a, get a mod, but I don't want to have to get a mod. Can we open presents now? Oh, Jess. Okay, let's get out of here. Yes. Fucking cake, what a asshole. Man doesn't think about what women really want. Money. <laughs> Money so I can buy my pig. NPCs of lives too. No, they don't. He should have given me a truffle. Like, where can I mark my my liked items so when they give me gifts, they actually give me things I want? How do I do that? What if he gave you a pig? Uh, then I would like Pierre. Fish do, but I need an albacore. Oh, they're almost out of season. Guys, where and how do I catch an albacore? Someone help. Where do I go for that? Uh, is it ocean? Uh, what time of day? What time of day does it spawn at? Ocean at night, early morning, night. Those are different, very different times of day. Early morning, I'm getting very conflicting answers here. Right now. Okay, when does it stop spawning? Both times, I believe, are correct. So, it's like an all-day thing? 6 p.m. to 2 a.m. That is very conflicting with them saying that it's morning. Before 11 and after 6. Okay. Gotta water the cat. Can't forget that. Two times of day, that's crazy. Okay, let's make our way to the ocean. We've had no luck with getting this damn key. Yeah, it's nice that you don't have to wait a day in case you miss a window. That is very considerate uh, with the writing. You know, it occurs to me Demetrius might also like the shell. The Nautilus shell, because it's literally a part of his thing, you know? You didn't talk to Gunther behind his desk, right? What do you mean? How do you get behind his desk to talk to him?
Talk mode, thank you for the five gifted memberships to the community. I hear a little lady outside my door trying to get in my room so she can try to eat stuff off my floor. Okay, we got one more hour or else we gotta come back at 6 p.m. I think you guys said did you drop something while eating at your desk no but I think when I was eating salad I must have accidentally flung off one of the um one of the like dried cranberries Albacore. Okay, we got it, but we'll just keep fishing for a little bit. Woo! Albacore! <laughs> My bearded dragon got into a bag of Doritos and he ate half the bag. Caught him. He's still healthy to this day. My dog is similar. Every time I have chocolate in the house, somehow she gets into it and will eat the all, all of it. So I always try to not... She's not allowed in my room for one because she's trashed it before trying to get chocolate. <laughs> because she's crazy. But also, um, my crazy puppy uh, has eaten chocolate so much. And she has never, ever, ever, ever gotten sick. Ever. And I'm just like, girl. I'm like... I, every time I'm like, you're going to see consequences for this and then you're going to regret what you just did. She never sees any consequences. She's never sick. The only time she ever got sick was when she ate a pair of my mom's underwear. <laughs> then she got sick. But yeah, otherwise my dog's built different. She built up a resistance? I have no idea, but it feels like it, to be honest. There you go. Does he like me now? Are we friends? This is very nice. This is very fulfilling to see. And we've almost got Demetrius there too. <sighs> A lot of the other ones are still very low though. <laughs> Demon dogs are immune to chocolate. If only. It's just her. She's just special. Ugh. Our boy Linus right there at the top. Crocus. Sanders, thank you for the supa. I'm reinstalling Stardew Valley. Good. As you should. It's a good game. Tokus, Brokus. I, I desperately hope they will add in the things I desire in this game, even though I know it won't ever happen. But it would make me really happy if they added rival marriages as default to the game. <laughs>
Because I'll be real. It was really... I, I tried using the thing to, like, help it along. Uh, or, like, to use mods before. And, like, that's that was so hard. Can't you mod it? You have to get... We have to get perms for mods. So if I was solo playing it, yeah. But playing it uh, on stream is a NG. What does rival marriage even mean? It means that the... So, obviously, all the characters in this game are paired up. So, with Haley, it's Haley and Alex. With Elliot, it's Elliot and Leah. You know, with Shane, I think it's Emily. <laughs> So, basically, it, it adds kind of a layer of, if you, usually in games like this, what will happen is, if you befriend the rival, before you befriend the love interest, you'll get rival heart events to basically make you be like, oh no, you're losing them. Like, you gotta act fast, because there's other people here too that also want the same things you want. Some people didn't like it because they felt like it was too cruel in games, because they're like, oh, then... Then people stay single. Then some people never never get together with anyone because then if you marry them, then you, you have to feel bad. And I'm like, don't you feel even worse now that the whole entire town is stagnant just so you can marry whoever you want? And this isn't an issue with Stardew Valley specifically. This is just an issue with, um, in general, Harvest Moon games or Story of Season games. Ooh. Yeah, love triangle shenanigans. But really, it's like, you have to activate them yourself anyway. Like, it's not like something that you, like, will accidentally happen if you take too much time. You have to actively go out of your way to become friends with the rival. And the games will usually make it really obvious. Uh... Four guys and 12 girls, wild ratio, the guy he disliked. I married he liked because I thought he was annoying. That's funny. Lucky bow, good old cat, mouse ears. I wish they had demon horns. Can I have my horns? Hmm. That sounds your other broken half horn. <laughs> he would. Hope you can find it or you can create it. I wish. the wrong button. <gasps> Shit! There was nothing of value. Nothing of value was lost. Let's see. I think we only need like three or four more items. We need a rabbit's foot, a pomegranate. We have a pomegranate tree growing. We need the red cabbage and then we need a truffle. Oh, shit, that's what I didn't do today was buy a pig. Shit. Oh. It's fine. It's fine. I guess I should sell some of the stuff. So I make some money. Cool. Good enough. Time for Betty Bye. Hmm. 
Nice. First the truffles, then the bacon. I won't turn them into bacon. Uh... Thanks, Clint. Bacon is tasty. You make a valid point. However, no matter how tasty bacon may be, I need the cows. They're expensive. But they will get me very expensive product. If I can just persevere through the suffering of having to spend all my money on one. Then I'll, I'll yeah, it, it, it'll be fine. I'll survive. Be daijobu. <laughs> Cow bacon? Uh, pig. I misspoke. <laughs> Cow bacon sounds lovely. I mean, technically, couldn't it exist? Is there cow belly? Because, you know, bacon is just pork belly. Does that exist? Is that a thing? Beef belly is a thing, so theoretically there could be cow bacon. People just don't make it. Beef bacon exists. Well, there you go, jailbirds. <laughs> now you know what to go search for to the ends of the earth. Steak bacon exists. My family makes it occasionally. It tastes more like steak than bacon, of course. That sounds awesome. I want some now. I hate turkey bacon, though. Not gonna lie. Not my favorite thing in the world. <sighs> I should have kept an egg for Marnie. Too bad. Oh, it's Willy. Turkey bacon tastes good if it's fried in real bacon fat. I mean, most things taste good if they're fried in real bacon fat. Bretsters. I kind of like that. What's that little Bretsters to her new home? I didn't look at if it was a girl or a boy. Bretsters is quite the name F for her. <laughs> name him Chris P. Bacon. Well, it would have needed to be Christina. Oh, oh, oh. I can't do it. I don't know how to make a pig noise. Unless you make me laugh really hard. And I snored against my will. Wishing I were fishing. Y'all 42? You're kidding me! You're lying. There's no way I've yawned so much. I don't believe it. Maybe. I want to see Demetrius. And Robin first. Say hello. And then I want to go... To uh, the desert.
<laughs> There's some weird people living in this town. You've got a point, Alex. You're so right. I love how it's almost winter and they're like, fresh snow. I need Demetrius you to get up one heart. Please. Go up a heart so I can stop talking to you and giving you gifts. I really don't like you. Are there places like this in America? Um, if you go back maybe 20, 30 years ago, yes. But nowadays, they're probably very, very rare. I would not imagine that there are many, if any. But again, 20, 30 years ago, you go back, you could pretty much find a town like this probably anywhere rural. Would you be willing to live a farm life, Risa? I've talked about this before. I, I had plans to marry a farm heir in, in my very young youth in the hopes of taking over a farm. <laughs> uh, it was my desire. Do, 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 do. I always forget to bring bombs. I don't even know if I have any though. I am my own downfall. You're literally a piece of slime. Ah! Bro. That's nice. Two two ways down. I'd like to just make sure there's nothing worth getting. Though I'm sure that there's not. Yeah. I'll just I'll just go down here. It's it's fine. We'll just go down. Bro, they are kicking my ass. <sighs> Purple Sly gives Iridium. Are you for real? How rare is that? Shit, shit, shit. Oh, oh, my health. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to bounce. Or I can just eat cake, I guess. I came all the way here. I paid money to come here. I might as well. There's like one piece of iridium. God, I hate fighting slimes. I'm I'm just not good at fighting them. They go against everything that I think about when I'm in a fight. Everything. 
can only kill mummies with explosives. Yeah, I know. Get mortally wounded. Just eat an entire cake or pizza. No wonder the doctor gets no business. <laughs> you have a very valid point. What the fuck is this? Oh, Jade. I don't really want to fight anything if I can avoid it. I just want to mine. Why is that asking so much? That seems dangerous because of how low my health is. I think we're just, let's go leave and talk to Sandy. My health is already low. <sighs> it won't kill you, but it will deal damage. I don't know. I guess it depends on how far down you go. But I feel like I've definitely... I feel like you could definitely kill me. If I fall far enough. Hi! So has a good chance of staying watered overnight. Ooh... I wonder what Sandy likes. She lives in the desert, so she probably doesn't like cactuses. Oh, she does. Nice. Uh, wait. One more thing. Can I go up, bouncer? Please? Ah. <sighs> I don't think I can get rid of these, no? No. Then these I have to trade things for. Mega bombs are worth five iridium. There's no way. Let's go to Stardew Valley. You kind of have to learn to love them if you're living in the desert. You might have a point. I guess that makes sense. You live in the desert, you have to you have to deal the hand given to you. We got iridium. Enough iridium to actually make one iridium bar. Isn't that just swanky? Ayy, farming makes me money. Farming makes me lots of money. We could almost buy another cow if we wanted, but I don't. Okay, we have good news. This time looks pretty nice! Yeah, I bet it does. Annoying. Oh. There we go. Pick up. Pick up. Rest. Bretsters. Bretsters. I almost called her Bresters. Let's check how the tree is growing. 
Our pomegranate. Do not eat the duck egg. I'm asking very politely. Please do not eat the duck egg. Oh. Nice. She's clearly losing it. I'm not losing it. We're just on our last day. So we've done everything we can for the time being. We finished a lot when it comes to the... Uh, the whole area that we're trying to finish off in the first place. We literally only have the bulletin board left. And the worst one we have is the Enchanter's Bundle, which is going to be Rabbit's Foot. is going to be kind of difficult to get, but we're on our way to getting a truffle. And... I think this we can plant in spring, so day one. Next time we play, we'll be getting those seeds and planting them. Top priority. I think that's pretty good. Pretty good progress. And at the end of year one, we have... Oh, Demetrius somehow got his hearts up all the way. All right. Uh, Demetrius... Linus, Shane, and Elliot, all the way up to their max heart count. And now that gifts have reset. Yeah, I feel like this is a pretty good end to a, to a first year. Crawfish. I haven't found a crawfish in the game yet. Hmm. Nothing I really need. So our next priority when the clocks switch over, I suppose is going to be trying to find Trying to find shit, uh, like, to sell so we can get more money so we can upgrade to a deluxe coop. I feel like is going to be the most important thing we can do next. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> I've been listening to Otomenoid on loop. I'm so happy. I feel like she'd like the cave carrot. Our girl Marnie. Oh, I guess I'll take it. She did not like that. Never mind. She didn't like it. <laughs> How unfortunate. I thought she asked me for it one time because she was like, oh. I, I love them for my for my cows. They love it as a tasty treat. And I give her one and she's like, um, I guess I'll take it if you don't want it. But I don't really want this. Unbelievable. Ugh. Oh, Hal, how many times do I have to tell you? I don't want to come back to the city. Stop calling me. I don't want to hear from you anymore. We love a woman who sets boundaries. Nerissa. So I guess you heard me yelling on the phone. It's okay. That was my ex. I guess I'd better tell you a little bit about it. Poor girl. We had an apartment together back in the city. I did odd jobs during the day and spent all night working on art projects. We barely made enough to scrape by. 
She was always nagging me to go back to school and study business or medicine, something with a lot of money in it. I guess the idea was to save up for a normal life. You know, a house in the suburbs, kids, PTA meetings, that sort of thing. I wasn't ready for that kind of life, Nerissa. I had to leave, so I came here to pursue my dream of being an artist. Was that selfish of me? No, and your ex sounds like an idiot. Um... Yeah. That's a little harsh, but yeah, we had different priorities. Anyway, I've been thinking a little more about that art show idea you had. I'm working on some new sculptures to display at the show. I'm nervous, but the thought of getting my work out there is pretty exciting. I'm just glad you're on board with making Stardew Valley a premier art destination, Nerissa. Yeah, you're welcome, queen. What I'm here for. You probably will like this. Yeah, she's the best. She likes everything. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not arguing with a beautiful artist woman. Anything for you, beautiful. I'm just gonna leave that on the ground. I don't want it. What about you? Do you like this? Thank you. This looks special. <gasps> she did like it. Yay. I still need to go all the way up there to romance Robin. It's not fun. Leah route, let's go. I don't know about that. I do like Leah, though. I think she's probably my favorite bachelorette. Not that the others are bad or anything like that. Hello, Elliot. He has nothing new. <laughs> Pierre romance? No fucking way. He's got a wife, and he can't even be loyal to her. You think I want to romance that guy? Or wait, was it the other way around? I don't remember. But I'm pretty sure he has, like, porno mags in his room or something. Wizard romance. I would do that. I would do that one. But I need them- I need them to make him a little more... Less old man looking not that there's anything wrong with looking like an old man but like he just looks a little too you know what i mean he looks like way too old for me he looks like old enough to be my dad ace thank you for the super started a new job hours ago <gasps> i hope you had a good first day marissa are you addicted to this game Yes. Well, look, it's okay to play a game for a long time every now and again. I don't do it often. Because usually I don't like to play games for so long when I'm, like, actively, like, talking. Because, uh, my voice will get exhausted. And then I won't have a voice. And then you guys will be sad because I'll have to take, like, two months off because I won't be able to speak. And I presume you don't want that, so... I usually don't push myself if I can feel my voice getting strained, but I'm trying not to worry too much about talking to you guys. <laughs> not that I'm ignoring you guys, but I'm trying not to worry too much about, you know, I'm just having fun with Stardew Valley, basically. Very comfy. Okay. 
I need something to give Robin and I don't have any hardwood on me, which is totally my fault. He loves grid ball. I am a regular member of the community now. That might come in handy. I have done no progress on this bitch. He still hates me. I definitely don't have anything he likes. Hey, Robin has two more hearts left, so she's gonna be our next priority next time, as well as these three we'll be moving on to. And then we have pretty much everyone else who we've just like ignored in the game, only at four hearts, which isn't great, but also isn't like the worst numbers, considering we're like just talking to them and not really like trying actively to befriend them, you know? Ignoring Penny. It's not that I'm ignoring her. I just, I'm not focusing on her right now. <laughs> this ain't about her. You like snowy yams? No, no, no. Oh, she did not like that. She didn't like that at all. She did not like snowy yams. She said, don't fucking put that thing in my face ever again. Okay, let's see. Hmm... So, we have a pomegranate sapling. We don't need any of these, so it just depends on what we want. So, um, what are the most profitable fruits? I want to get a peach tree because I like peaches. But what, what ones are the most, what ones make the most money? You know what I mean? In this game? What ones will make me rich? I'm gonna get a peach one. Mango, I believe. I don't think there are, are mangoes here. Oh, sorry. Sorry, little man wanted to leave my room and a radio was talking about the cat. <laughs> like she has not puked today. Sorry if you heard her. She's very loud outside my door. You unlock mango when you get the island, I think. I see. Naruhodo. Her voice carries, as expected of a singer. Exactly. That's the right perspective to have. That seems about right. Peach tree. All right, let's conclude. I, sh I should check if I can sell any of my forageables. This concludes year one. Year one of our Stardew Valley run. Strange, thank you for the soup. Have a good night. One whole year. Four streams. Let's go. Uh, hello there. My name's Kent. I just got back from last night from overseas. My wife told me that a new farmer had moved in while I was gone. 
Well, I just wanted to introduce myself. I'll see you around. Thanks, Kent. Um. Oh, the price of raw materials has increased. That sucks. Okay, we're not gonna actually play today. But next time, we're basically going to be uh, cleaning this up again. Uh, loving our animals, of course. Uh, and hopefully starting to fill this out a bit. Obviously, I'm concerned that we still haven't got the key to, you know, the thing. <laughs> like, I'm really concerned because I would like to go buy sprinklers. I would really like to go do that. It would be really nice. Didn't try behind his desk. I can't, I, what do you mean behind his desk? You know, perhaps all we'll need was a re, yeah, we'll, we'll find out next time. Hopefully restarting works. I want to quick check Pierre's and see if he has the red cabbage seeds, but we need to wait a little bit. Are you kidding me? The day I'm not saving, I go in and I get a fucking flounder. Annoying. Yeah, key doko. So again, we're almost completely done. This is our last thing left for the community center. We need a truffle and we have a pig. Once it grows up, we're golden. We need a red cabbage, should be easy. This one, we need to get a rabbit. So next time we're going to be working to save up money, save up wood, and then we will be upgrading to the deluxe farm, getting a rabbit. It's gonna take a while if I remember. Rabbit feet don't just like necessarily drop uh, super duper randomly, like easily. I think they're kind of a lucky drop. So it's gonna be a little unfortunate um because we're gonna have to just hope but generally that seems like it's going to be the plan for next time bro the store's not open for 10 minutes gus just walked inside okay so let's see Uh, I don't see... Will you guys quick check for me? The last fruit that I- or thing that I need. Is it a summer fruit? Vegetable? Red cabbage? Oh, uh, I see. Oh, then I guess we won't be able to finish it next time, but that's good because it still gives us more of a chance to prepare. Unless you get his catalog. How do I get his catalog? I'll ask next time. Someone bring it up. Because obviously, I literally have a greenhouse now. So he should just give me whatever I want whenever I want it. So... I'm going to go ahead and close out of the game. Hee <laughs> hee. Good work today. Good work today, Jill Burns. We've worked hard. We've done well. We're going to go ahead and we're going to say hello to our girl failure, Shiori. I'm not calling her that to be mean. It's literally what her stream says. So apologies in advance before anyone decides to think that I was saying something mean. I would never. I would never. I love her. Um, please do, uh, if you haven't already, click the link that is pinned right now and go ahead and listen to my new cover with the one and only Koseki B. Boo! And, uh, I will be back tomorrow for, uh, Valentine's Day to celebrate together. So, thank you guys so, so much and I look forward to seeing you all again very, very soon. Bye, darlings!